February at last. And February, as we know, is the month of love. Last Valentine's Day was the best. The best Valentine's Day in the world. Why? Because I slept through it. But I will not be doing that this year. Instead, throughout the month of February, I'll be playing a couple visual novels. Uh, and this one. I wasn't sure about playing this one, but after watching the Game Grumps play a little bit of it, I had to get it. Hello there. Let's see. Pia Mikaru. Hey, what's up? Ready for some kitty love? Let's begin my fourth visual novel. Yeah, not that many people are, uh, not that many people follow this game. I'm not expecting any followers from this. Uh, how's the volume, by the way? Can you hear it? Prologue. Are you guys ready for the prologue? Before we go, though, let me know if, like, everyone can hear it. The volume's fine? Alright. Let's go, guys. My name is Shinoda Honoka. Okay? Might as well just keep her like that. Shinoda. Oh, boy. So, uh, everyone in chat... See if you can figure out why I chose this visual novel to read. I mean, I'm the girl. I'm trying to woo a guy. Like, why would I play this? I'm a guy. But see if you can find why I got this. You'll see. Let's go. Kitty love. Way to look for love. Yes, Pia Mikaru. That's what. That's the. That's the thing. Hey, Joker's ransom. Tell Dell. This was twenty-five dollars. How are you doing? How are you doing, guys? This is nice weather. This is a flower shop called Flora. Uh, we have a good reputation in town. Can I make the the fast? Yeah, fast. How's everyone doing today? Why was this $25? I don't know. Good morning! I've been working here for a one year. Recently, I got regulars too. Takuma, I'll do my today! Good morning. Thank you. Yes! This is, t this is Takuma Sugary. He's always cheerful and nice. And because of how he looks trustworthy, he's popular amongst women from all age. Huh. Well, so far we've seen three problems with this, but maybe it's just, you know, from the beginning. I don't know. I got some spot I got some spotted miniature rose this morning. It's quite cute. So, can you display on the area where people can see them? Sure. Oh, then can I change the general display a little bit? I wanted to make it more seasonable. This was voice acted. Nope. I'll be the voice actor today. Okay, sure. I'll let you decide on layout. Thank you! When I started the job, I made many mistakes. I'm sure I made troubles for him, but... Recently, I've been asked to manage on displaying and flower arrangement. Alright, I'll go for delivery, so take care of the shop for me. Okay, Takuma! Takuma smiled and waved his hand before he left for the delivery with Small Motorcycle. Wonder who that is. Who's Small Motorcycle? I'll do my best. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Flower shop Flora. When picked up the phone, it was from it was from our regulars. I took out the memo. Good morning, Mr.
All right, we got the mic. Th we got the mic thing out of the way. That's good. All right, let's continue, guys. Are we still good? Everyone good? See, we're good. We're all right, right? Are we good? Okay. Um, Wisteria and Iris, Wisteria and Iris. It's so nice to be surrounded by flower. It's a standing job, so a little tiring. Well, Takuma is away, so I was messaging, massaging my leg that I've been using for this standing job every day. Working in a flower shop was harder than I thought. I've been standing all day and the job requires the cold water. Hello, or uh, hi, anyone there? Ah, uh, hi, I'll be right there. I want to have this potted rose. Okay, is this for your house? Um, excuse me. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sorry. I'll be handling you next. The shop is near the station, and there's many customers coming. Because the shop is small, the shop manager decided to work with only me and him. It's quite hard, but I like working here. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh god, I wanted to ask you about something. We pass we pass our days dealing with customers every day. I'm going to take a break now. Alright, I'll see you later. There were more customers than usually, so I was taking a break late today. I think I should go there again. I got some bread from the nearby bakery and went to the park. So, I know what happens during the prologue already, so it's going to be normal from there. But after that, it's going to be all new. This park wild with green is my favorite. Over the weekends and holidays, there's a lot of family with little kids visiting. But during the weekday, it's quite peaceful. So, that's supposed to be but during the weekday, but it's buttering the weekday. Uh, do you see why I got this game now? Uh, how long can I keep up that voice? It'll be a challenge. I'm gonna try, though. Hope I can see- Oh, the flowers on his flower bed died! I don't even know anymore! Is this one sick? The soil is too dry! Arg, I'm thinking about the flower again! <sighs> it's a curse already! I'll take a good rest and work well this afternoon! There! I sat down again! The area a usual place! This new bread is so good! I started to have some bread and there was a kitty coming closer! Meow! Oh, here he comes! Here, I'll give you some bread! Meow, meow! Ah, you're so adorable! This park is also becoming a meeting point for street cats! I sometimes come and relax with cats sometimes! Hey, hey, I'll give you more so don't rush! The cat... The cat took my bread and started to eat by my feet! Does it taste good? Good, good. Hmm? Are you done? When it's finished, the stray cat left again. Oh, it's gone again. I wish I could be like a cat. They have more freedom. I was having a thought to escape from reality. When I checked the time, it was almost a time to go back to the shop. Is it a time already? Is it a time? Or the time? I think it's a time. These grammar errors, they hurt your soul? Why? What's wrong with them? I prepared to go back and left the park. I think it's alright. I think we'll have fun. After I went back to the shop and prepare for the afternoon, I heard the bicycle bell that I've heard before. Hello, Mr. Fujimoto! Oh, hi. How are you? Are you going around for a patrol? Yeah... This is Shogo Fujimoto. He's the police officer who helped me when I was having trouble with a drug man before. After that, he sometimes checked the shop once in a while. He might look scary, but not really at all. But he's really very kind. Thank you for patrolling! Is this a rose? Ah, uh, yes. Isn't it small and cute? We just got today! Yeah... Mr. Fujimoto nodded and looked at the miniature rose. Interesting! Can we go one sentence without an error? Nope. It's not how the... It's not how the game works. The visual novel works. Oh, he smiled a little? 
the flower that he's looking, the flower that he's looking is usually the ones that young woman likes. Sorry to bother you. Oh no, you didn't at all. Thank you. He's bowing politely and left. I sent him waving a hand from the shop. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. It's around the time for the sunset. The shopping district is getting lively with people going home. You can't take this. Aw, oh, we're in it for the long haul, though. This is, this is the love. This is love. In this busy hour, there's always him. Who is it? Hi, can you get me the usual ones, please? Ah, uh, one that's big. The color is red and white. And of course, all of them needs to be rose. Mr. Kawahara, thank you. Is it for a birthday? Yeah, it's for my client's birthday. Well, the Mr. Sigari and Mr. Kawahara were, was talking, I went to get the rose bouquet as he ordered. I'm able to prepare for the small bouquet, but it takes time to prepare for the bigger bouquet. It took time, but I was able to finish the bouquet without asking for help from Takuma. Thank you for waiting, Mr. Kawahara. Aren't a little late. You shouldn't be able to make the bouquet easily by now. You should. Did I read that right? I don't even know anymore. I need to be calm. I I'm sorry. Keep the change. The one who's wearing a N loud outfit is Mr. Kawahara. He's working as a host club, place proving a male companion nearby. We had some trouble and had an argument, so we're not in good term. Thank you very much. What a freak. Arg, he's customer, so I can't say much. Why is he having that kind of attitude? <laughs> Calm down. Because of his order, you're getting better. Mr. Kawahawa always gets get the big bouquet for his work. Of course, Rose looks elegant, so it'll people would like. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't believe Ultima's making his daughter read all of the texts, I know. Sorry, Aulin, who doesn't exist yet. But it'll be nice having se- Oh my god. It'll be nice have seasonal flowers, too! While I was thinking about Mr. Kawahara, there was a voice that I'm familiar with. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, Kohei. Kohei, are you on your way back? Yeah, I saw you at the shop, so that's why. I see, I see. You must be tired from your job. What did you come for today? A bouquet? No, no I mean, I wanted to talk to you on your next day off. Excuse me. Oh, hi, one moment. I'm sorry, Kohei. Later. Ah, uh, wait. I'm sorry. That's one of regulars. If it's an emergency, I'll pass on the message for you. No, that's okay. I'll leave now. He's Kohei Natsumi. We grew up together. Since I don't have siblings, he's like my older brother. Recently, he moved near my shop and he pops in sometimes. I couldn't talk to Kohei much today. I should text him later. I don't, I don't recommend texting anyone. I think Mr. Saija will be here soon. Is the flowers ready for him? Yeah, I'll bring it from the back door. Good evening. Mr. Saijo, hi. Thank you for using our flower again. Is it ready for me? This is Narumi Saijo, famous Japanese flower arrangement artist. His house is very close, so he uses our flowers. Mr. Saijo, thank you for waiting. Your order it was Wisteria and Iris. This wisteria is for the first time this year. I see. It looks beautiful. It's an elegant purple. Yes, the colors are nice too, but the fragrance is also good too. What? When I was trying to bring the flower closer to Mr. Saijo, I felt dizzy, and I grabbed Mr. Saijo's clothes. Are you alright? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Saijo. I, I just felt dizzy. Are you alright? Maybe you are too tired. <laughs> Mr. Sergery, did you make her overwork? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, are you two alright? I'm alright, Mr. Saijo? I'm okay too, don't worry. Phew, the flowers are not squashed. Mr. Saijo, we are very sorry. This is the one you ordered. Thank you. This is the fee. I'll be going now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please be careful. Or dot 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 dot, please be careful. Oh? Mr. Saijo. Mr. Saijo left a mysterious smile. 
He left a smile, guys. He left one. He said that he said something that only that I can only hear and left the shop. Maybe he didn't have much meaning. I. When, while I was thinking about what he meant, Takuma tapped my shoulder. It's time to close. Shall we start cleaning up? Sh sure, I'll take the flowers inside from the front. With the job, with the job I like and surrounded by unique people, my day ends like this. It's fulfilling, but something's missing. I pulled down a shutter as I was having a thought. This is a tough voice to do. Takuma, I'll go now. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I left the shop after seeing a Takuma with a kind with kind smile. A Takuma. One of the Takumas. I, I don't know. Phew, I'm tired today. I should refresh my mind before I go home. I wanted to play with one of the stray cat I played during the day at the park. And now we're back to the park with the dots everywhere. Did you guys see that? <laughs> the dots everywhere? It was a different kind of silence in the park at night. At night it's illuminated nicely and the place looks more fashionable. I went to the usual place where I normally go. <coughs> Gotta start giving these cigarettes up during the day. There was more stray cats that I don't normally see during the day. Aw, the cats at night is cute too. When I went closer the cats were a little bit cautious and looked up. Right after they understood that they won't do anything, they were back to relaxing mode! <laughs> Can I relax with you? There were cats overlapping at each other, and others playing around with other cats. I was sighing when I looked at relaxed cats. <sighs> I don't have any complaints for the job and nothing hard is here, there, but I feel like there's something missing. When I was stroking, the cat came near my foot. There was beautiful black cat appeared from the back. Wow, beautiful black cat. Is it a house cat? Ma! There's a weird cat out here! Looks like grandma the freaking thing! Sorry. When I looked at the cat, I found that, that it was an odd-eyed cat. You're a rare one. Are you a house cat? The black cat was just listening at my voice and looked back at me. Lean body and beautiful furs. It's like a living art piece. I want to be a cat. I was gazing at the beautiful eyes and said it without thinking. And for a moment, everything stopped for a moment. And there was in silence. Huh? What? Alright, I'll make it happen for you. Wah! With a mysterious voice, it became white as if there was a flash. I was getting confused and lost my consciousness. There is actually voice acting, I just have the voices low. I'll leave it... I'll leave it here for now. Yeah, let's go. When I opened my eyes, I was on the ground. I couldn't understand what happened, and I was blinking for a min. I heard a voice somehow. Hey, hey, how long are you going to stay like that? When I brought my face up, there was this beautiful black cat looking into my face. Voice is off. Well, you can't hear the voice that well, so... I wanted it as low as possible. But, just, just hearable, you know? What? The black cat was staying closer than I imagined, so I was surprised. When I got up quickly, I was seeing a different scenery than usual! What is this? The ground is closer? The ground was closer than I thought. I looked down at my foot and there was a TOUCAN FEET! What? Huh? When I pull up the right hand, there's right cat foot up! And when I try to pull up the left hand, the left foot up! Yeah! Yep. Yes indeed. It must be a dream. No, it can't be! I tried to close my eyes strong thinking! It's a bad dream. And I opened my eyes. But the scenery doesn't change at all! The black cat said, I was thinking it's a dream! It's not a dream. Look. I was asked to look into the water to see by black cat. There was a white cat instead of my face. No, that can't be. Really? I turn you into a cat, 
just as you wished, but you can only become a cat during the night. I turned around immediately to what the black cat told me. You said it yourself. You want to be you want to be a cat. I just made your wish come true. Huh? I remember I remember what I said before I lost my consciousness and I regretted. I, I really said that, but I didn't mean it for real. Please turn me back into human. I'm in a situation like a fairy tale, but when it actually happens I can't really enjoy. I was pleading to the black cat. I can only hear me yelling around here. Turn back to human. I'm sorry, but I can't do anything about it. Then I'll be... I was desperate. I was desperate about what Black Cat said. I didn't know how to live from now. I was worried about so much about work and about my life. I was in despair. Black Cat is swaying his tail, its tail and said in a uh, amusing voice. I can't do anything about it, but this is a curse. The curse always has a way to reverse the curse. Huh? What should I do? I was gazing at Black Cat with hope. That is to kiss with someone you really love. <laughs> what did you just post here? Belmont players prefer fighting on flat stages because it reflects their views about the shape of the earth. I'm glad that you can uh, show me that. I tried to throw this off topic thing into the stream, but you made the Smash Bros meme today and you need feedback. It's good. Good meme. Good job, you did it. <laughs> you made your, your, your meme. <laughs> uh, that is to kiss with someone you really love. Huh? Kiss? Someone I love? What? I was just confused with the words that I didn't expect. Black Cat just faced the other way and tried to leave the park. Wait! <laughs> Good luck! As Black Cat said that, he disappeared like a smoke! I can't believe it! In order to reverse the curse, I have to kiss someone I really love! Black Cat said and left there! True. Love! What should I do? I was standing alone in the middle of the park where no one was around! And here we go. That was the prologue, guys. And now, we do the main part. Uh, from the beginning. So, guys, who should I choose? Should I choose the main guy? The the serious business, business person who was a childhood friend, I guess? The police officer who's scary but not really? Yep, she's a cat. There's, uh, Kiyosuke, the guy that I don't like that much, and Narumi, the florist-looking guy. Takahiro, you want Sakurai? Which one's that? Takahiro Sakurai. This will be one interesting stream. Oh, you know it, Snake Lad. Also, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? So who should I choose, guy? Should I do them in order? From this way to, to this way? Or should I choose one and then just go random? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm ready. I'm ready for these games. So who should I choose, guys? I'll give you a couple of seconds to choose. I'll give you a couple seconds. I'll get a drink of water. Whew. Chu Sakurai, the cop looking guy. Well, Pia Mikaru chose first. I guess I'll do this guy first, and then cop guy will be next. Or the teal guy. Pia Mikaru got first dibs. You'll get next dibs, snake, snake lad. Pinky promise. I will do all of them, or I'll do like one, and if you don't like this game, then I'll just go back to Tails. Here we go. Do you wish to begin Naru Narumi Saijo's main route? Yeah, sure. Why not? Episode one. I don't know what to do. After the black cat left, I couldn't move a step. 
all the trees and stairs were taller and it looked scary, so it became round and shaking. It's completely different way of scenting than the usual. I heard a footsteps. I heard a footsteps, okay? And car noise bigger than usual. I don't know what to do. What's gonna happen? What's gonna, yeah, what's gonna happen to me? I can't stay like this. My feet were still shaking, but I tried to get up. It was a weird standing in, f in four feet, and I don't like the ground to be closer. But I can't just stay like this forever. Yeah, I became round and shaking. What's wrong with that? You're gonna look up reviews for the game? Well, I'll tell you about the game. Uh, well, the game can speak for itself, really. The game is probably really, really good. It's just the translation department were... They were an interesting bunch, we'll say that much. When I started moving, I felt like I could move easier. I tried jumping f towards the higher flower bed using my back feet. I was able to jump without making any noise. Amazing! When I looked down, the cats that scattered because of the black cat are gathering again. Cat love story game? Yes, it is. Anyway, I have to do something about the situation. Where did that black cat go? One of the cats was looking at me and turned its head as if it was showing me the way. Is it? Is it just showing me a way to the black cat? Meow! The cat meowed as if it's replying to me. Thank you, kitty cat! I ran to the way that the cat pointed. I was getting dirtier with leaves and soil because I went through the bushes, but I ran anyway. What if I didn't find that black cat? I, I can't just tell me I should kiss someone I love. That's too much. I don't have a I don't have boyfriend, and I can't think of anyone close to be in love. By the sounds of what he says, I don't think he meant as friends or family. It has one meta it has one review on Metacritic, and it's a zero. I is a zero. Don't catch the... Don't catch it, Pia Makaro. Don't catch the bad grammar flu. Must be a great game. Yep, it is a great game. Best game. I was wondering... One... I was wondering around for a while. Not wondering, I was wondering. But I didn't stop. I was more worried when, I, when I'm not moving. Oh, boy. I went inside the quiet residential area. Look at the freaking circles everywhere. I might know this street, but from Cat's point of view, it all looks different. Where should I go? I won't be able to go home. I suddenly heard growling sound. When I looked up, there was Big Calico Cat. Yes. Why is it angry? The cat looked really scary. But I remembered the other cats. Then I remembered the cat from earlier, so I decided to ask about the black cat. Um, I'm looking for a black cat. Better than Fortnite? Oh, yeah. This is like ten times better than Fortnite. Uh, meow. Oh, no, I made him more mad. This calico cat was pressuring me still, and he's getting closer to him. I don't know who him is, but you know what? Screw it. I don't know what to do. The calico cats are hissing. Then he jumped toward me. There's more than one calico cat now. I closed my eyes tightly and felt, and I felt a... Ouch! He bumped into me and tripped. Even if we are controlling, the calico cat looked and it passed next to me. Ow, oh, what do they do to you? Does anyone know what's going on? Is there anyone? Inside the house, I can't hear, I can hear something, but nothing was answer, but I went toward the sound. Wow. It looked like a huge, it looks like a huge house, and there's continuous fences around, and they found a huge gate. I slipped myself from the gate. It's a huge house. Even after I entered, I can't see the building. There's a huge garden, and I heard a sound. I couldn't tell where the sound was coming from. I was lonely. Inside is the Japanese-style garden. It was far and I couldn't see well. You lost me at the title screen? I'm sorry. Well, the game is sorry, really. Uh, I'm scared. Are you lost? 
Meow? <gasps> he saved me. There was someone standing. I was surprised and I was stunned and made me stop. Mr. Saijo. Meow. There was, there was only a meowing coming out of me. But Mr. Saijo crouched in in, crouched in front of me. This was Mr. Saijo's place. I knew the place, but I probably couldn't see well until now. I do recognize this gaze. Ugh. Back up. Did you did you just enter? I don't see you around. He's talking to me gently as if he was talking to a little child. I was about to reply to him as usual. He does talk gently. He normally talks to others like this. Your beautiful white hair is this dirty. I was passing through the bushes, so he must be really dirty right now. Mr. Saijo touched my head lightly. Ouch! I shivered with a pain in my forehead. Oh, you've been scratched by other cats. Let me have a look. He grabbed me easily. Oh no. Or oh no, your kimono will be dirty. I tried to run away. I tried to run away from his arm and move my arms and legs. Calm down. I can't ruin this expensive looking kimono. I'm covered with dirt. I was wiggling my body to get up in the next moment and next moment. It's like my brain is trying to correct the sentence, you know? <laughs> That's what this game is like right now. Ouch! Huh? Mr. S Mr. Saijo pulled one... Mr. Saijo pulled one of this hand back. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this. When I saw his hand, I left a line of red nail mark! Apparently my nail popped out! Oh my god, I hurt him?! I was filled with guilt and I didn't know what to do! So I stopped moving and looked at the scar. Don't worry. There's not much blood out. You can relax now. He probably understood because I was surprised. Mr. Saijo hugged him again gently. I wish he would hug me! Good. Mr. Saijo didn't care about getting his kimono dirty, and he took me again and supported my back. When I brought my face closer, I can nice smell in it an incense. I incense from his kimono. I was under a strain. <laughs> when I took a d when I took a deep breath, I lost tension at once. Uh, I can't feel my body anymore. I have to look for the black cat. I felt so relaxed on his chest, and he looked at me. You must be tired. You can relax now. I lost my consciousness as if he was guiding me. Ugh. Well, it's not a game, it's a visual novel. It's different. It's kind of a game. There's are, there's a few choices you can make throughout the game, but it's like reading. It's like a story. Uh, I woke up with the sound of the sliding door. I must have slept a little. I was placed on the towel on top of the cushion. The ceiling looks higher, and all the interiors look bigger. I had my arm on, arms on my head, but it didn't look like a human's hand. I was hoping it's a dream! Did you wake up? <clears throat> it was Mr. Saijo! It was Mr. Saijo entering the room. He brought a wash bowl. There were many things in this Japanese style room. It makes me even wondering if he really lives here every day. It's like a telltale game, but worse. Oh, there's no errors in telltale games. Right? 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 Mr. Saijo put the wash bowl next to me and sat down. Whoa. You seem like you went for an adventure. You become dirty, so let me clean your body a little bit. What? Is he going to? What console is this on? Switch. Nintendo Switch. Is he going to? I had round-eyed with wonder, but Mr. Saijo didn't even notice. He dipped the towel inside the water and squeezed. Then he reached toward me. Oh, um, I didn't know you were going to... I've never been wiped my body by him. And it's Mr. Saijo. I don't know what to do and panicked that I made a growling sound without thinking. I felt a goosebumps. Cat becomes a little... Cat becomes a little defensive. I was thinking as if it was someone else's problem. Ah, someone else's problem. It's alright. I'm just cleaning you. After that, I'll treat you that scar, alright? Don't be scared. You'll treat me a scar? 
Uh, if it makes sense now because it's on the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. I've noticed that the Switch is getting a lot of visual novels lately. Like, not even visual novels that are on Steam. Huh. I wonder if there's more like this. I felt even more goosebump! Oh no, you can't trust me. Uh... Hmm, what should we do? I can't, I have to trust him. You know what? I... I have to trust him. I have to! Up! I have to believe him, right? I've got no one on my side since I became a cat. If this is not a dream, I'll have a trouble with dinner and a place to sleep from now on. Here, cal calm down. I'll save it really quick. Nope, go back. Uh, where's the save button? There it is. Your progress will be saved. Yep. Saving. Saijo episode 1, here, calm down. Good stuff. Here, calm down. Uh, Steam has basically everything. Yeah, not anymore. No more. Now the Switch will have all the novels. When I, when I looked at him, Mr. Saijo smiled and brought his face closer. His long, beautiful hair touched the floor. In between his hairs, I can see his eyes. He has very interesting color. Shovelware? Uh, yes and no. Just good visual novels with bad translations. Yeah, yeah, we'll say that. When I look at him carefully, each of his eyes have different color? I didn't notice until now. When I looked at him as a customer, I saw his face, but I didn't talk to him other than about flowers. I don't know about Mr. Saijo much, but he's really kind. I hope he can take care of me a little. I took a deep breath and tried to calm myself down. I licked Mr. Saijo's hand that's touching me softly. Are you going to let me wipe? Whoa, buddy. Wow. Yes, please. Aww, that's cute. Meow! I was only able to make a short mewing. But I try to close my eyes and stay still. Mr. Saijo, gently wipe my back with the towel. The towel was warm and it felt really good. I'm relaxed now. I was purring. You must feel good now. Wow, I didn't know purring comes out without controlling. It's a little embarrassing that all the reactions are coming out honestly. The little and embarrassing. The space between them is a little wide, don't you think? Mr. Saijo. Wipe me over and over with towel! With towel? You have a dirt on this side too? He flipped over, he flipped over and my stomach was wiped too! You're tickling me! Hey, stay still! Mr. Saija was holding me still and he wiped me carefully. It was after the rain, so the soil was muddy. All the plants were also wet too! <coughs> anyway... His has a delicate hand. <laughs> a little big space. Embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe he's a Japanese flower arrangement artist. Oh, man. So, guys, I don't know if you had any English teachers that were fixated on grammar. But if you did, you should find them and show them th this game here. They would get a, a heart attack, probably. Are you alright? After we finish wiping the back of the foot, you can walk around the room. Mr. Saijo took my foot and cleaned the paw and placed me on the cushion. All my hairs are clean and even shining. There. You look clean now. Your hair is shining, so you don't need this towel anymore. Mr. Saijo took off the towel and he stroked my back. It made me secure. Uh, Snake Layout had one, and Pia Mikaru is one. Oh boy, I'm sorry then. Pia Mikaru, I'm so sorry then. He was this kind of person. I wasn't able to find out what he was thinking about most of the time when I was talking to him as a customer. I never imagined him to be like this. 
That sentence was more or less normal. Oh, I have to take care of your scar, too. I'll do that after your dinner. I remember I didn't eat anything after dinner, but I can feel my stomach rumbling. But is it a cat food? And there we go again. Would I be able to have them? Mr. Saijo took away the towel, and he... And he took... Oh my god, what the lost my voice? And he took the cotton that was on the edge of the washing bowl. I'm going to wipe where the scar is and disinfect, so you have to cope a little bit, alright? He said that... He said he was going to touch the scar, so I'm getting nervous. I try not to react like earlier, and I close my eyes tightly. He wrapped the cotton around his finger and touched my scar a couple of times on my forehead. It didn't hurt me as much. I guess it's better now. Let me disinfect. I close my eyes and wait until he finishes. Mr. Saijo was touching me gently, and I didn't feel that hurtful. He must be a serious person. He's explaining to me even to a cat. There. I don't think it'll be infected, but I'm a little worried, so let me have a look sometime. Oh, when I turn back to human, this scar will still be here. I'll bring something to eat, so stay here. He brought, he brought the washing ball and left the room. He really doesn't make any noise when he's walking. All of his movement is so elegant. When he comes to the shop, he's always comes in. He always comes in all of a sudden and leaves without much fuss. I was so tensed up, so staying in the room alone and stretching feels so good. Hmm. Feels nice. Meow. He cleaned me, and I went on top of the cushion. It felt so good. Loki thought she was an actual girl and not a cat at first. Nah, she's a cat. It shows her picture sometimes, though, like her human face. Which, I don't know why they did that. We're gonna assume that this is this, like, company's first visual novel. You know, they're learning. They're slowly learning. They just need to fire their, uh, translation people. Or maybe keep them, because this is hilarious, actually. This cushion cover looks expensive. It has very beautiful embroidery. I rolled, I rode around a little, and relaxed. I jumped and stand still, feeling that I've accepted being a cat. If I stay like this, I'll be a real cat. I should think straight. I was looking around the room for a little bit. Oh, that iris! Mr. Saijo brought that iris today. It was in the vase. No, Mr. Saijo, that name... S should be, like, one, like, space away from the, the period there. Just to let you know. Just to let me know. It's not their first? Really? Huh. It was a purplish blue flower. Oh, he's also wearing a purple kimono. I normally look down at the fl- I normally look down the flower. I'm looking, like, down upon it. I'm better than it. <clears throat> but it looks different when I look from here. It's be beautiful. Harris was standing straight looking elegant. It looked like him. Other than this flower, as how I saw in the beginning, it doesn't look like anyone's living here. There's not much inside this room. I wonder what Mr. Sajor is like. There was a sliding door open and I stood straight on the cushion. That moment Mr. Sajor entered with a tray. What happened? You looked all tensed up. If I think of it, it wouldn't look weird for the cat to walk around the room. Mr. S Mr. Sajo looked weirdly and placed the tray in front of me. On the tray, there was a plate of water and plate of food. I took a couple of things you might be able to have. What do you think? There was a boiled chicken breast and some dried bonito shavings. I was getting even more hungry with the smell. After I took a bite, I couldn't stop eating. I finished the plate when I realized. Wow, I didn't know you were that thirsty. I'm pretty sure you ate the food, not drank the food, but whatever. Semantics. I was having a water as he was telling me. I felt like my stomach was filling finally. Aw, oh, you are hungry. Good. Mr. Saijo patted my head. Isn't this nice, guys? I'm having fun. I'm having fun with you guys. My friends, my friends in chat, aren't you having fun, fun here? His, my body is clean, my stomach was filled, and he provided me with a fluffy cushion. He did so much for me. 
I have to think about so much, but I want to rest for now. Are you sleepy? You should sleep now. As Mr. Saijo told me, I felt so sleepy. I made myself round and stayed in a position of sleeping. It's much earlier than usual time that I go to sleep, but I feel so tired. I'll try not to think much for now. Good night. The voice I heard before I went to sleep was Mr. Saijo. His voice was kind that I've never heard from. His voice was kind that I've never heard fr of from anyone before. I felt comfortable and went into the deep sleep. The deep sleep. You guys know what I'm talking about, eh? Episode 2. Oh boy. I woke up with a ticklish feeling. A feeling of itchy, listless irritation. Is it morning already? Am I going to transform back to human? I spring up and see Mr. Saijo sleeping in the corner of the room. It's absolutely the worst if I return to my human form now. The one you're looking at has better translations. Why did the team mess up with this one? Maybe there's a reason, I don't know. I looked around in hopes of sneaking out of the room. I see the window slightly open. There's a screen door, but I should be able to open it easily. I quietly got off the cushion and sneaked toward the window, careful not to be noticed. It's normal now. I jump up to the windowsill and open the screen door with my nails. I pass through the gap surprisingly smoothly. The ground fills my view and I jump off without hesitation. I think we're reading normally now, guys. I think we're, we're out of it. Thank you, Mr. Saijo. I felt the cool grass under my paws, and I feel a reluctance to the comfortable room I had been in, but the uneasiness in my body had been increasing. I need to hurry and get out of this place. I had no idea what to do, where to go, but I decided to return to the park where I first became a cat. I don't know whether... No, oh, no, there it is. Whether the sky was getting brighter or because I was getting used to the perspective of a, of a cat, I easily knew the way to the park. I hide in the bushes in the corner of the empty park. I no longer could bear the discomfort in my body. This is sick. I can't bear this anymore. I shoot up, and the bushes that had been above my head all along had become knee length. Huh? I looked at my hands, and they are human. I'm back to normal. I'm wearing the exact same clothes as yesterday. My belongings are at my feet. I crouch down in relief. I'm so glad. I... Anyway... What if that black cat said is true? If what that black cat said is true, I can live normally during the day. That girl needs to decide whether she wants to use past or present tense. Or grammar. I look at the clock in the park, and it's still early. I would have plenty of time to go home and change before I go to work. I want to take a shower, change, then eat breakfast, and then... I wanted to change my mind by thinking about my daily routine. Feels like I'm still dreaming. In order to calmly think about what to do from now on, I should reset my feelings. I stood up once again, clutch my bag firmly, and start walking. <clears throat> Good morning! Good morning. How are you? I love to Takuma. It's... and it's a huge... Uh, it's... Whew. I looked at Takuma, and it's a wow morning. It's almost as if nothing had happened. Oh god. Uh. Hmm, what happened to your forehead? That bandage wasn't there yesterday, right? Uh, I was chasing a cat in the park and cut it with a branch. Whoa. Well, I'm not lying. Yes, this wound is proof that what happened yesterday wasn't a dream. A wound from when I was scratched as a cat, and Mr. Saito had disinfected remained even when I turned back to human. I don't even know, guys! It's nothing serious, but I patched it up since it was reddening. Does it stand out more with a bandage? I should take it off later. I cut my forehead and laugh it off, then s and start my morning duty. <clears throat> oh yes, Takuma, you haven't changed the water for the gypsol... Gypsophila yet, right? I'll do it! The bucket that contains the water is extremely heavy with a large with a large amount of water. But I can't make the Takama do it. 
she's Tama. Pia Makaro, she's Tama. But I can't make the Takuma do all of the hard work by himself, so I tried to do it willingly. Here I go! My back hurt from the heavy lifting, and my hands are checked from the water, and I thought it was painful for me before. But when I think of what happened yesterday, the time working in human form feels very fortunate. Hello, this is Flower Shack Flora. This is Saijo. Da 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 da. My voice gets choked back in shook shock. Hello. Oh, sorry, Mr. Saijo. Is it an order? I was shook. I was shook. It's only me who feels awkward. I wonder what he thought when he realized the cat wasn't there in the morning. <clears throat> yes. Do you have any lilacs today? Yes, we do. Then that, and can you choose a kind of white flower for me? White flower? For a moment, I remembered my hand from yesterday. My white fluffy paws. Yes, I'll go visit you in the afternoon today. Sure, we will be waiting for you then. It's only the term white. I'm overreacting. Was that order from Mr. Saijo? Ah, uh, yes, lilacs and some kind of white flower. Hmm, what flower, huh? It's rare for Mr. Saijo to order in such a vague way. Well then, you can choose. Wait, me? Of course, you answered the phone, right? Think and choose carefully. <clears throat> yes, yes sir. Hey, Takuma, have a sec? Yes, welcome. Well then, I'm counting on you. But that, the Takuma ran to the storefront. Is his name the Takuma, I guess? I have the test to arrange flowers for the customer who will come to pick up shortly. It's a present for someone ill, so the order was to be cheerful and bright colored. Pick out yellow and orange flowers like African daisies and roses, all the while thinking about the white flowers for Mr. Saijo. The lilacs are probably for flower arrangement, but what is the white flower for? If he's going to arrange it with the lilacs, they must be cut flowers. But they can also be potted. <clears throat> Chips of Phyllis are white too, but calla lilies are more also representative white flowers for this season. I should have asked him more about the purpose. We pick out the flowers based on the customer's wants and think about ways to preserve them beautifully as long as possible. It's an important job. We also encourage flowers that fit the customer's needs even if they aren't familiar with the kind, and select according to the customer's character. That's why I should have asked Mr. Saijo more about why he asked for white flowers. Whew. Again, I realized an important aspect of this job. I chose this job, this job because I like flowers and plants, but most importantly, I wanted others to realize how nice plants are. Okay, first I'll complete... I'll complete this arrangement perfectly, and then choose several patterns of flowers for Mr. Saijo. I carefully arrange the ordered flowers, wishing and praying for a fast recovery. I wrap it with I wrap it with wrapping paper and complete it by tying a double ribbon. It's almost time for the customer to come pick up the order. Excuse me, I'm here for the bouquet I ordered. Hello, it's done and ready. I come forward with the arranged bouquet. Duh. Here it is. How do you like it? I inserted pink orange roses as, as an accent. How pretty. I think he'll be happy. It's cheerful just by looking at it. Thank you. I carefully placed the bouquet in a paper bag and gave it to the customer. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. We'll be waiting. I don't know what I'll be waiting for, but, you know, I see the customer off at the storefront. It's this feeling of joy that makes me like this job. I had been tired lately, but probably since my usual daily life had been broken, I'm feeling refreshed today. If I change my perspective, there's no such thing as a boring life, and maybe it's just my state of mind. Well, I'll do my best today. Um, excuse me. Yes, I'll be right there. Ah, oh, when's Mr. Saijo gonna come? Hello. I'm gonna save it again, guys. There's choices in this game. I wanna make all the 
all the right choices. Hang on. Hello. It now says hello, guys. Hello. Oh, hello. Mr. Saijo is as un... Mr. Saijo is as usual, but I tense up a little. Uh, yesterday, Mr. Saijo wiped my body thoroughly. Wow, no! Are you alright? Your face seems red. It's nothing. Um, your flowers are ready? I could feel my ears turning red, so I moved to pick up the flowers, but I stopped for a moment. Oh, Mr. Saijo, how about the white flower? Yes. How are you going to use them? Hmm, I was thinking I'd choose depending on the flower, but I actually found a cat yesterday. What? That... Must be. She was pure white and pretty, but she was gone in the morning. Is that so? <clears throat> He's talking about me, right? Mr. Saijo frowned sadly. I wonder if he intended to keep me. So, I thought I'd have a flower that reminds me of her. I see. Then how about this pot? It's an unsophisticated flower called primrose. They bloom easily, and it's alright to just put it on a sunny windowsill. What do you think? Yeah, it's a cute flower, and it's close to my image of a cat. I'll take it. Thank you, but a cat? Uh-huh. I'm sure she... I'm sure she'll... Oh, come back. You found her and took care of her, right? That's a weird place to put a... Exclamation point? I, I guess, though I didn't do much. No, no, you did enough care. Huh? Oh, yeah, he'll be creeped out, if I knew about it. Uh, I mean, I can imagine you taking good care of her. Do you think so? Yes, of course. I wouldn't have thought this. I wouldn't have thought this if I were my ignorant self from yesterday. Regardless of what they are, cat or human, it's natural to remember what's done to them. You say something interesting. If she remembers where she was fed, maybe she'll come back for me. Yeah, I'm sure. What am I saying? Am I thinking of going to Mr. Saijo's place again? But Mr. Saijo's sad face makes me sympathetic. And I do need somewhere to sleep again. If that cat feels obligated, if that cat feels obligation, would she come again? If so, I'd be happy. I'm sure she'll come back. I decide that I sh could go back to Mr. Saijo's house again if I became a cat. Ah, oh, yes. As for white, calla lilies are pretty to use in flower arrangements this season. For sure. Maybe I'll get it next time. I think they'd look nice for your a clove. A clove? In my room? Ah, uh, I did it again. I'm bad at this. Am I going to be able to keep this a secret? Nope. I mean, in a clove if you have a Japanese style room. I imagine you'd... I'd imagine you'd to have a Japanese style. It is. I have an iris in my room right now, so I'll consider call calla lilies when I replace them. Yes, please. Well then, I'll wrap this with the lilac. Please. That is... Whoa. Mr. Saijo came close to my face. I feel dazed by his nice scent, but today I don't feel dizzy. Y yes Your forehead. It's red. What happened? I took off the, I took off the bandage, but I guess he noticed. I covered the wound with my hands. I uh scratched it with a branch in the park. I see. Come to think of it, the cat I found yesterday had a scratch wound on its forehead, probably from a fight with another cat. Really? What a coincidence! Well, was that an awkward response? I don't know what to say. It is. Did you disinfect it properly? Yes, I'm fine. That's good. Playing in the park is nice, but be careful. Got that, guys? Uh, be careful in the park. And don't get turned into a cat. Wait, does he think I injured myself by playing in the park? Oh, well. Mr. Saijo left after paying for his flowers. Because when I saw how he treated towards the cats, I feel like I was able to talk to him more than before. Before I was engulfed in his unique impression, but he seems more normal than I imagined. Oh, My word. Takuma came back from delivery and carried some empty buckets inside the store. Welcome back! Hi there. Did Mr. Saijo come already? 
Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, yeah, just right now. I gave him the pot potted primrose for the white flowers. Mm. Ah, mm. you chose a cute one. The manager seems surprised, but then I decided against mentioning the cat since it felt like I'd be talking about myself. He said that he likes calla lilies next time. Ah, I can't wait to see his flower arrangement using calla lilies. Oh, it's pretty late. Let's start closing the store, shall we? Sure! Other than the display outside the store, this shop has foliage plants and potted herbs, so we put them back inside the shop before closing. As I was closing the store, I was thinking in circles about what to do after work. <clears throat> what a game, guys. What a game. I wonder, from when to when does nighttime mean? I was becoming anxious sitting on the park bench. The only thing I heard from the black cat was, was is that I'd become a cat during night. That is very vague. Well, that's not the only vague thing. After leaving work, I didn't know when I'd become a cat. I'm forgetting now, I'm forgetting my voices. So I came straight to this park. I hesitated going back to my house since it'd be a problem if I turned into a cat on the way. At that moment, the same discomfort as before ran through, through my body. This uneasy, irritating feeling. It's time. I get up and run toward an unpopulated place. I reached the spot where I turned back into human this morning I cr and crouched down. This morning when I looked around, I thought this place was the most unlikely to be seen by others. Ah, uh, this tingling feeling. Now that I feel it, I'm really going to be a cat. I'm really going to be a, a cat. A, 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 a cat. I suddenly feel an unbearable irritation. I prepare myself and close my eyes tightly. Once the sense in my skin return, I open my eyes to see everything around me bigger than before. It's actually me who turns small. I really did become a cat. I still had a feeling of unreal, but that feeling was broken easily. A long night begins. I took a step from that place. I walked through the path I took this morning. All I could think of was Mr. Saicho sadly waiting for the cat to return. Oh, man. <gasps> Episode 3, guys. We are blazing through this story. I was on my way to Mr. Saicho's, but this is around the place that I got attacked by, that, by the calico cat yesterday. I guess I seemed a little different for the normal cats. That calico cat was really terrifying. I have to be careful not to encounter it again. I timidly walked the corner of the road. Hmm? You're... I turned around to the voice to see Mr. Saijo standing. The cat from yesterday. Are you on your way to get some food? Um, not really food. Mr. Saijo crouches down in front of me with a warm smile and softly pet my head and back. Your wound seems fine. That's a relief. I'm taking a walk today again. Would you come with me? A walk? Without waiting for my response, Mr. Saijo stands up and starts to walk. I guess no one would wait for a cat to respond, but he talks to me so naturally that I feel like we're supposed to understand each other. I follow Mr. Saijo walking right beside his feet. There's a river if you go that side. Oh, I think I read it wrong. There's a river, yeah. Mr. Steiger continues to walk, talking to me, a, talking to me, a cat. When we made a turn, there was in fact a river and a promenade. <clears throat> oh, this looks nice. Would be nicer if the circles were gone. I usually never come this way, so I never knew there was such a place. I like the sound of water because it's soothing. When I listen to it under the moonlight, my heart calmed down. Mr. Saijo's moonlit face is white and beautiful like a doll. He almost seems lifeless. He said his heart calms, but I imagine Mr. Saijo is always calm, but I guess he has times where he's not. Occasionally, joggers and people walking their dogs pass by, but otherwise, it's empty and silent. I too focus to listen to the sound of the river. When was the last time I listened to the streams like this? And when was the last time you listened to a stream like this, huh, everyone? This place is really calming. I should s should come here on the weekend sometime. Feeling joyful, I play around, hopping on and off of the bench and walking on it. I can never play like this when I'm a human. 
<laughs> you seem happy, but be careful. Be careful about what? That moment, I missed my step on the bench and fell to the grass. Ah! I fell on my back, hitting the side of my body. There wasn't so much. There wasn't that much of a fall and landed on grass. And I landed on grass, so it didn't hurt much. Ow! I messed up. Hey, one cake. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Welcome to a very, very good visual novel. I hope you enjoy. Wait, see if you can see, like, what's why I like it so much. I'll leave it to you. I thought cats can ins instinctively flip their bodies and land on their feet at times like this. With an appalled face, Mr. Sideshow gazes at me laying on the ground. It's not as bad as needing help, but it makes me sad to see him unworried. Urgh. What is this game? It's it's a game. It's a silly game. I rolled myself up, becoming a small ball. Wait, did you hurt yourself? I'm a cat, by the way. See? Yeah. Mr. Saijo flusters to me and picks me up. I didn't know. Maybe Mr. Saijo could make faces like this. A flustered face. He is observing my body carefully. No, I'm okay. It's nothing. Meow. I feel. I felt built. I felt bit guilty. I look up. Disgusting. Did you just fool me? Mr. Saijo seemed genuinely worried and was relieved to see I'm okay, but continues to check on me for any injuries. What the heck? Why? What's wrong, Cake? What's wrong, One Cake? Perfect. Perfectly normal game. Perfectly normal sentences. Ah, so you've got guts, I guess. Mr. Saijo pets me with a slightly mortified face. He pet me with his face, guys! What the heck? And with me still in his arms, start to walk. I I'm sorry. I put my paws against Mr. Saijo's chest and look into his face. The fluster had left, and he had his usual poker face. Ba -ba -ba poker face, ba -ba poker face. Ma -ma. Okay. I thought he seemed worried about me for a second. Even with a smile, Mr. Saijo doesn't seem to be really laughing. I can't feel any atmosphere or presence around him. He seems carefree, and I can't imagine him expressing strong feelings. So I'm actually a girl, one cake, and I turned into a cat. A black cat turned me into a cat. And the curse will be removed if I kiss my one true love. So, that's the story. That's it for our walk today. Let's go home and eat. Mr. Saijo pets me softly and parts from the promenade to his house. Mr. Saijo's house and ground plot is much wider than I had remembered. He must be teaching flower arrangements in his house. So part of it must be a classroom. I learn how to take care of flowers, make bouquet, arrange baskets from work. But I've never... I've never properly done flower arra arrangement. It requires completely different skills to choose flowers, to observe the balance of width and length, to create the appearance of the flower, compared to making bouquets. Come to think of it, the iris I saw yesterday in the in his clove was arranged beautifully. I'll keep my window slightly open from now on, so you can come and go whenever you want. With that, Mr. Saijo brings me past the hallway instead of going to his room. Huh. I wonder where we're going. It's a big house, but we haven't encountered anyone. I've never heard of his personal life, like who he is living with. Maybe his family lives somewhere else, although I don't even know if he is married. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, trouble. Gosh darn it, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, let's save it here again, guys. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh, you got dirty in the park, so let's get you washed up. Washed today. Huh? W wash? Does that mean Mr. Saijo is going to bathe me? I slowly start to back up. I know you don't want to get wet, but you need to be bathed. I went home and took a shower this morning. Mr. Saijo rolled his sleeves up and fixes it so they don't fall. He swiftly turns the shower on and showers me without hesitation. 
Meow! Excuse me. I'm drenched from head to toe in a mere second. The water is warm and perfect. Once I'm drenched, I don't care anymore. I'm going to shampoo you. Mr. Saijo explains to me before he fluffs my fur with shampoo. My body is covered with bubbles without time to even feel embarrassed. You seem so against this before, but maybe you don't hate water. Mr. Saijo observes wonderingly while washing me. You probably wouldn't think a cat is embarrassed. When washing off the soap, he showers me more carefully than before. Once it's all washed off, I feel refreshed. This is very strange. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll say it's strange, all right. Hmm, it feels nice. Meow! Whoa, that's cold. I shake the water off my body and accidentally splash Mr. Saijo with water. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Saijo looks like a cat as well, with his eyes tightly closed in surprise. Ah, uh, that, that kind of cute. That kind of cute. You started this. Mr. Saijo wrapped me with the towel he had at his side and wiped me roughly as if in return. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. He even dried me with a dryer, and I'm all fluffy and smooth. But his drying was pretty rough, and I saw another side of the unusually sensitive, gentle Mr. Saijo. I feel kind of good to see another side of Mr. Saijo. When I'm curled up on the same cushion from yesterday, it's as if I had been like this from the beginning. Sorry to make you wait. I made two kinds of cat food today. Mr. Saijo enters the room with a tray. On it are two plates. Two kinds? Mr. Saijo places the two plates in front of me. I made food from leftovers yesterday, but I figured you'd have a preference. You can eat whichever you like. One plate is of a canned tuna for cats with boiled carrots and lettuce. Ew. The other is so-called cat food with miso soup over rice. Ooh, that sounds good, actually. Hmm, what should I eat? Uh-oh. Huh. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm gonna guess again. If I choose the wrong one, I'll just go back. Up! Oh, that was the right one, guys. Yes! I'll save it here. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I did it. I am a cat, so maybe I'll eat canned tuna. There's vegetables, too, and it looks colorful. I start to eat the dish of tuna. Yep, it's good. I feel like cat food tastes better each day. The tuna seems better for you. Alright, maybe your food should be based on this every time. I start to take large bites. Hey, eat nice and slow. Oops, I was about to hog it up. I carefully chew and tasted the food again. Even when during the day I have I have to have lunch break depending on work. It's inconvenient that I can't eat until the someone until someone makes me food when I'm a cat. That's why when I'm given food, I feel like I need to hog it up. I remember my grandma's cat used to hog its food up. It used to make fun of how greedy it was. I guess cats have their own reasons. Oh yes, today I met a person who had a wound on the same place as you do. Eh? She said she hurt herself with a branch, but I wonder what she was doing. Is he talking about me? I wanted to know how Mr. Saijo felt about me from noon. When I used to be Mr. Saijo as a customer, my impression of him was strange and unapproachable. Once I got to see the real him, I was finally able to see him as a human, or more like a normal person. I wonder what kind of impression Mr. Saijo has of me at the shop. She seems restless at times, so I thought she made a clumsy mistake. But she's a girl. She needs to be careful about her face. Restless, huh? You too. Don't get in a fight again. And don't climb too high and fall, and fall again. Y yes sir. I can't voice my thoughts as a cat, but still, does it mean my restlessness as a human remained in me as a cat? Ah, are you finished? Mr. Saijo picked up the empty plate, placed it on the tray, and left the room, leaving only a bowl of water. I took a bath, I'm full, I'm getting sleepy again. I came straight to Mr. Saijo to Mr. Saijo's today. 
but from tomorrow I need to look for that black cat. Is it true about the thing with someone I like? If kissing with someone I like involves love, I need, I need to find someone I love first. When will that be? Without finding and talking to the black cat, I won't even know the details of how to return to normal. Someone I love. A kiss. As I was thinking in circles, I had fallen asleep. This is going to be awkward when, uh, when all of the, uh, like, like, when she's normal, like, you know, she fell in love with the guy as a cat, but the guy is like, no, I don't know. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Today was stocking day, so I battled with flowers from the morning. I battled them, guys. We had delivery for an event, so I must unload more kinds of flowers than usual. I need to do this carefully, or else the flowers wouldn't last as long. I open the large cardboard box containing flowers, manage it, place the stems and leaves, and leaves I cut into a garbage bag. I continue this hard work until I finish. Ugh, oh, my back hurts. Mine too. I sound like an old lady, but I can't help but crack my back and arms. And yet, when I'm able to see flowers, which I usually wouldn't, and when I hold the large bundle of roses, the inexplainable feeling is worth feeling many times. Though my fatigue doesn't leave completely. Ah, this calla lily is really pretty, with three L's. Among the newly stuck flowers was the calla lily I had encouraged to Mr. Saijo. Does Mr. Saijo come today? God. Oh yeah, is Mr. Saijo coming today? Huh? Why are you asking me? My heart jumps just by hearing Mr. Saijo's name. It's just that you two seem close lately. We're not that close, we're just as usual. Really? But you two talk more than before, right? Well, that's only about flowers. I see. You got some pretty statuses today. You know what Mr. Saijo comes to see. Wow, it really... it's a really pretty purple. I hope so too. A few days had passed, and I've been searching for the black cat every night. It's been my routine to look for a while and go to Mr. Saijo's room. I get fed and I sleep in his room. When morning comes, I leave to return to human life. That's my double life. But I haven't found the black cat. I would occasionally ask the cats I encountered. But because they must be able to sense my strangeness, they don't really answer me. The anxiety for my future only increases, but I've been getting used to this life. As a human and as, an, as a cat, my new daily routine has started to form, and unfortunately, I don't feel any inconvenience anymore. Alright guys, that's enough of the girly voice. I'm gonna switch to normal now. Furthermore, the more I see Mr. Saijo when I'm a cat, the nervousness to meeting him during the day fades, and I've been able to talk to him more comfortably. So how long was that? How long was that until I gave up that voice? The busy hour after lunch had ended, and the store starts to calm down. Oh, hello Mr. Saijo. Hello, is something wrong? Takuma gazed at me in a meaningful way. Er, Takuma, the customer over there is calling you. I push his back and force the smirking Takuma away, and awkwardly stand in front of Mr. Saijo. Ah, oh, Takuma. Takuma, what about him? Uh, no, um, we were talking about how we wanted to show you the pretty status we got today. Oh, oh is that so? Please, let me see. Without doubting my words, Mr. Saijo smiles happily. Before, I had thought he wasn't smiling from the bottom of his heart, but I don't feel that way right now. Is it just the state of my mind? Then I'll go get them. I hurried. I hurriedly take a step back to fetch the bucket of status in the back of the store. I had completely forgotten I had placed an empty bucket at my feet. Ah! I stumbled on the bucket and began to fall backward. Oh Look out! Mr. Saijo pulls my flapping arms toward him, and with his other hand he supports my waist and pulls me into his chest. Uh, I'm sorry! I see Mr. Saijo's kimono in front of me. He gently supports my body and he had... He gently supports my body he had accidentally pulled into a hug. With the shock of almost falling and of the hugging position, my heart is thudding wildly. It's completely different from when I was being carried as a cat. My mind gets foggy, and I begin to feel dizzy. Er, uh, I'm okay now. As I thought, 
You're a bit clumsy. Be careful of your surroundings. Eh, Mr. Saijo said, still hugging me and softly pulled away. As you thought? You had a wound on your forehead when we last met. Ah, uh, yes, I did. He did say I seem restless. Ugh, this is embarrassing. I'll be careful. Well, please go get the flowers slowly. I also thought I'd get the Calia Lily today as well. Alright, I'll go get both. Yes, please. This time I looked around my footing and carry the empty bucket before I go. I saw Takuma, who had apparently been watching in the corner of the store, trying to hide his laugh. He's going to make fun of me later. I prepare myself and carefully pick out the flowers for Mr. Saijo. Episode 4. Sadly, guys, I think we're out of the realm of errors and stuff. I transform into a cat in the usual park. I'm already... I'm used to that uncomfortable feeling already. I search different paths for every every night for the black cat, but I haven't found a clue. If I can't even find a clue, maybe it isn't a normal cat, as I thought. That's why I don't even know which way to look. I should go to the busy streets today. There's a lot of people, so it's scary. Is it better if I wait here until the black cat passes by? The moment I start to walk, still in doubt. You seem all comfortable being a cat. What? I look up to see the black cat up in a, in a tree. Meow, meow! Don't fluster. You can't talk in human words like that. The black cat says and stares at me with narrow eyes. As I thought, you seem better off as a cat, don't you? That's not true. Really? You don't seem to have any trouble, though. But that's... With the black cat's words, my mind is filled with Mr. Saijo, caring for me kindly. It's not so bad to just give in and become a cat, huh? No, hey, why do what did what do I do to return to normal? I told you, kiss the person you truly love. That's how you undo the curse. Then that means the black cat turned its back on me and starts to walk away, as if he's done talking. If I lose him here, I'll go back to the beginning. Wait, please, I have so much more that I want to know. Meow. I desperately run after the black cat. Are we going to get black cat, guys? Uh-oh. We're in an alley now. Who is the black cat? And what is the curse? If I can't undo the curse, does this double life go on forever? And who is the person I truly love? Are there others who are cursed like me? Were they able to undo their curse? There are so many questions I want to ask. Hey, why do I have to go through all this? <laughs> Heh. The black cat running before me jumps up on the fence and jumps down as if playing with me. What did I do to deserve this? I don't recall doing anything to be cursed by you. My emotion had been worked up since I finally found the black cat. All of my suppressed feelings explode. You're right. I didn't do anything wrong. Then why? I jumped from fence to fence, following the black cat. That moment I missed my footing, the lower half of my body starts to fall, and I hurriedly clutch onto the fence. My heart is racing. I was able to injure myself again. Clumsy as always. The next thing I notice, the black cat is standing in front of me. Its purple and gold odd eyes are glowing in the darkness of the night. As always, what do you know about me? You don't know anything. Meow. I glare an inch toward him, fixing my posture by lifting my hind legs. That's true. Hey, what do you mean by someone I truly love? There are fairy tales about breaking a curse by the kiss of a stranger prince. The person I like. I couldn't figure out what the black cat meant by that. I have nothing more to say. No, that's irresponsible. You're the one who put the curse on me. I can't think of anyone when I'm told, person I love. I mumble my true feelings and the black cat widens its eyes. Oh, is that so? I heard human females are fickle and find love everywhere they go. But is that not true? Where do you get that information? No, that's not true. There are people who devote all their love to a single person. In my case, I haven't met my person yet. Really? Well, good luck then. Hey! As I reach my right hand out to the black cat, it jumped backward. My hand glassed the air and I lost my and lose and I lose my balance again. Ah, watch out! Meow! I clutch into the fence, bending my back. Careful of your surroundings. The black cat laughs and jumped into the bushes. 
I regain my balance and desperately try to follow, but the distance between us doesn't decrease. My chest feels squeezed, whether because I ran or because I'm sad. I don't know which. What's going to happen to me? I thought I'd find a solution if I found, found the black cat. In no time, I had lost sight of the black cat. Huff, huff. I lost him again. I didn't get any answers. What am I supposed to do now? As, I, as I'm blanked out, I hear someone coming through the bushes. Are you there? The bush right in front of me rustled, and the next thing I noticed, I was in someone's arms. Is it Mr. Saijo? Mr. Saijo, this is... I heard voices in my yard, so I came to see what happened. Were you fighting again? You don't seem to be hurt. Mr. Saijo starts to walk, carrying me in his arms. I had entered Mr. Saijo's yard without noticing. I wonder if the black cat comes here often. You're so mischievous, aren't you? Mr. Saijo says, patting my head softly. I've never been called mischievous in my life before. I have been called active and energetic, but never mis mischievous or clumsy. But lately I feel like I'm called that often. Only Mr. Saijo and the black cat calls me that. For some reason, I lose my cool in front of Mr. Saijo. I get comfortable in Mr. Saijo's relieving arms. The clip clip of a flower shear echoes in the silent room. After bathing me, Mr. Saijo started to arrange flowers in his room. Aww, ain't this nice, guys? We're finally reading a nice visual novel. There's no, like, errors or anything. It's just chill now. Relaxing. It's my first time to actually see Mr. Saijo arranging flowers, and I observed him from a distance. He carefully places the flowers he had cut. There are the daffodils and irises he had bought today. He uses such an unusual flower vase. A wide vase, it's so fashionable. Mr. Saijo quickly positions the flowers in the vase. He pauses, looking at the whole arrangement. He then picks up one flower. Even if you manage them properly, cut flowers are already on their way to their ends. So I want to arrange them beautifully for as long as possible. On their way to their ends. I want to arrange them in, in a way that rids of anything unnecessary and dispels the natural beauty of the flowers. Mr. Saijo slowly arranges the flowers one by one. There's no sound, and the air seems to be cleared. It's strange. It's like I can feel Mr. Saijo's tranquility. Keeping your calm is a good thing. Look for and desire your true self. Question yourself. What is important? What is the truth? Question yourself for tr of truth. The deep purple iris and the white daffodil are arranged in front of Mr. Saijo in an exquisite balance. The iris stands beautifully as if in support. Some in a distance, the daffodils were placed around. I don't know why, but I thought for a moment they looked like Mr. Saijo and me. What is it that I desire? What do I truly want to do? I felt unsatisfaction in my life, and when I complained I was turned into, in, into a cat. Everything ordinary had suddenly turned out of the or turned out of the ordinary, and I finally felt value in them. But besides from that, this time that I had spent in this place feels important as well. The sight of Mr. Saijo that I couldn't have known if I hadn't become a cat. It's true that I feel kind of fortunate to have become a cat. I repeat the black cat's words in my mind. A kiss with the person I truly like. It's no good if I keep on getting used to being a cat. The curse wouldn't be broken. Ah, huh. what will happen if I give in to being a cat? Would I truly turn into a cat? No, I don't want to. I need to see that black cat and talk to it again. The flowers that I have been fixed since I saw last time look beautiful with the fixed leaves and the undulating arrangement. So beautiful, but it's strange. When I look at it, somehow I feel a bit lonely. Why does the iris look so lonesome? I can usually make up my mind when I'm arranging flowers, but for some reason I couldn't today. I guess I'll sleep for today. I guess Mr. Saijo had something concerning too. Mr. Saijo put away his tools and picked me up. Huh? The usual, My usual bed in the cushion. I thought he'd bring me there, but Mr. Saijo snuggled into his bed with me still in his arms. Uh-oh. Am I in bed with Mr. Saijo? Oh gosh. 
Mr. Saijo, am I successfully, am I successfully becoming someone important to you? Mr. Saijo lays me down next to his body and pet my back gently. S another save, really quick. Saving. Cool. You might be able to live without inconvenience or worries without me. You seem to adapt to your surroundings easily, too. That's not really true. I only took care of you and watched after you out of curiosity. But I noticed myself looking forward to it. You soothe me and make me think. I wonder why. Funny, isn't it? Mr. Saijo murmurs in depreciation. Deprecaution? Yeah. This is my first time seeing him like this. Uh, keep quiet, cry out. Up! I'm doing the right choices, guys. I didn't know Mr. Saijo could make such a face. I'd be happy if I could sue them. Meow! I meow once and lick Mr. Saijo's hand. I hope he understands my thoughts. <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy to have you here. Did you know, the day after you came here for the first time, I bought a pot of primrose in hopes of you coming back. The primrose is placed on the windowsill of this room, properly taken care of. After that, I started to gain interest in white flowers. Even the even thought even though? God, I hadn't really used them in arrangements before. Come to think of it, you do buy white flowers lately. You used to buy more of colorful flowers before. <laughs> Excuse me. It's like I found a new side of myself thanks to you. Mr. Saijo lightly poked my head with his fingertip. I'm happy if Mr. Saijo soothed when I'm a cat. Is soothed when I'm a cat. I wish I could help him out more. You can't sleep if I keep talking. Sorry. Let's get some sleep. Mr. Saijo closed his eyes with me still in his arms. I was gazing at his face. It's my first time looking at his face like this. Before I noticed, this room had become as comfortable as my own room. It's different from adapting. I didn't get used to it, but I gained a new place. I can be here, not concerned for anything, comfortable and fawning on him. I keep coming back here willingly because I want to know more about him. I can be at Mr. Sanjo's side if I'm a cat. I think clear as day. If I return human, I'll be a mere flower shop clerk. I wouldn't be able to look at his, his face from this close. At this face from this close. I didn't imagine being this sad about parting. I think I understand why the black cat said it's not good to give in to being a cat. If I give in, I'd be close to it. It means I think it's... I, it means I think it's okay to keep going like this. I may not be able to return human again. Oh guys, the, the grammars are back. The grammars have returned. The black cat didn't exactly say that, but there might be the possibility. <clears throat> I don't actually feel it, but if I keep on going, but I, but if I keep on going like this as a cat, it's possible to happen. And nonetheless, I'll probably come back here tomorrow, the day after. With thoughts like that, I close my eyes on Saijo-san's chest. I call him Saijo-san now. Episode 5. <coughs> and there goes my voice. Hello! As I was working as usual, Kyohei entered the shop a bit shyly. Hey. Kyohei, it's been a while. It's my first time seeing Kohei since I started transforming into a cat. Yeah, I've been... <coughs> I've been a bit busy. As for you, what happened? Huh? What do you mean? We used to see each other. Each other often in the neighborhood. But I don't see you lately. Have you been up to something in secret? No, nothing in particular. It's true we used to eat after work or go shopping together, since Kohei lives near the shop. Once I started to transform into a cat, I would hide, become a cat, and go straight to Mr. Saijo's place after work. It makes sense that Kohei thinks strangely of not seeing me lately. Yeah, my friends also told me I don't hang out much often these days. Of course, I can't make plans during the n during night, and my response to messages must be postponed. It seems like it seems that everyone thinks I got a boyfriend. 
it may become a problem if I disagree half-heartedly, so I've become, so I've been leaving the topic vague every time it came up. Going to eat after work, and going straight home to watch TV, and taking care of the plants at home. It's not like I've been doing anything in particular until now, but when I look back to the nights I went through, I went through lately, I never felt it painful not being able to spend time freely with my friends because of my cat form. Going to Mr. Saijo's place and spending relaxing time together has been so much fun. Well, if it's nothing, then that's a relief. Were you worried about me? No, nothing like that. I just thought you used to wander around after work, but I hadn't seen you in a while. Kohei says, strangely flustered, and eyes away from me to the foliage plant on the shelf. What do you mean, wander around? Oh yeah, are you going to buy anything? Hmm, my place doesn't even have a vase though. Aw, then how about this? I picked up the moss ball in the glass container from the shelf. What's this? Moss? Yep, a moss ball. They're popular as gifts, and they're perfect to add a hint of green to your room. I've never been to Kyohei's current room, but I think it's great to have something green in a boy's room. It's really nice that Mr. Saijo's room has flowers and plants, as if they're supposed to be there. It's not just any moss ball, but there's a fo foliage plant called Pachira planted with it, so you can grow them together. This doesn't require too much direct sunlight, so it's fun if you place it in a sunny part of your room. Hmm, and what do you think of boys who have these kinds of things in their rooms? Me? I like it. Girls usually like flowers, so I think it helps to have one. Really, then I think I'll buy one. Really? Thank you. Hey, you didn't say that just to make me buy one, did you? I wrapped the moss ball with a glass container. Careful not to break it. Of course not. I really think it fits you, Kohei. That's good. Hey, I found a really good soup curry place a few days ago. Let's go together after work sometime. Sounds good. Ah! Usually I would agree to agree immediately, but I can't do that now. Er, I'm kind of busy lately. I'll message you once things calm down. I heard I hand Kyohei the wrapped moss ball, smiling evasively. Here, if you have any questions, come back to the shop, to this shop. But it should be all right if you keep it moist. Oh, okay, got it. Thanks. Well then, see you. Thank you very much. Ding dong. Kyohei seems unsure. Seemed unsure. I might have made him unconcerned. Huh? Wasn't Mr. Saijo here? What? When? I didn't notice. I thought I saw him come in just right now. He hadn't called today, so maybe he just came by on the way to somewhere else. I didn't notice at all. Was it... was it when I was talking to Kohei? Excuse me! Uh, I'll be right up. I hurriedly jogged toward the calling customer. I would like some African daisies. Yes, which would you like? I shouldn't be dazing off. I have to focus on my job. It suddenly became busy in the afternoon, and in no time, it was almost sunset. Sorry your break got really late. You can have it longer than usual, since things calm down already. Really? Then I'll happily take your word. I take my apron off in the back and leave the store. I am out of here, guys. I have more than an hour off, and I couldn't eat. I could have eaten somewhere close by. But since it's such a beautiful day, I decided to walk a bit further. I buy bread at the usual bakery next door and start walking. The greens and the tree-lined road are twinkling beautifully in the sunlight. Oh yeah, I should go to that promenade by the river. When I looked at the map the other day, it was a shortcut path to the promenade. I continue on according to my memory. I turn here, and there should be... The promenade. I turn the corner and see a neatly maintained promenade, as well as a smoothly streaming river underneath. Just as I remembered, I walk on the promenade going upstream. I then sit on the bench in the shade of trees, taking out the bread I had bought. The slightly low afternoon sun filtered through the trees, casting a shadow on the bench and the ground. Come to think of it, this is the bench I fell from as a cat. It was fun taking a nighttime walk with Mr. Saijo. Hmm. You are? 
jumped up and looked at the sudden voice and see Mr. Saijo standing. Mr. Saijo? What a surprise. What a weird... And what timing? My reaction right now wasn't weird, right? You can't escape. Taking a break? Uh, yes, I have it longer today, so I walked more than usual. Is that so? It must be tiring when your shop is so busy. It's alright. Oh yes, Mr. Saijo, did you come to our store today? I just took a peek. Ah, so you did. You could have waited a bit. Uh, please sit. I slid to my right to make space as I was going to dust away the dirt with my hands. Mr. Saijo quickly took hold of my wrist. A lady doesn't have to do such a thing. But, your kimono, it's alright, don't worry, Mr. Saijo says, had qu and quietly sits down beside me. The wrist he had held feels strangely heated. Uh, were you taking a walk, Mr. Saijo? Yes, I was. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Did you maybe want to calm yourself? Mr. Saijo tilts his head suspiciously at my words. Ah, uh, it's just a random thought. It's soothing here, and the sound of a river might have a healing effect, right? What in the world am I saying? That's true. The sound of the river is soothing. I came here without thinking, but maybe you're right. Did something happen? I know I'm being impudent, but it's kind of concerning. No, it's just that lately I feel out of character. So maybe it's that. Is it about what he said yesterday? In and out of character is only a concept you'd make yourself. Maybe you can think of it as finding a new side of yourself and enjoy it. Enjoy it? Yes, instead of out of character, you can think of it as a new finding, and then wonder if there are more of yourself than you don't know. Mr. Saijo, you're a flower arrangement artist, so it might be a new inspiration for your work, and a new door might even open for you. A new door, you may be right. Well, I said that proudly, but in my case, maybe I'm just turning my back on the real problem. You're really positive. You think so? Yes, you seem like you'd be okay in any problematic situation. Th that's not true! Remembering the curse cast on me, I felt very awkward. Really? At least you seem like you wouldn't be negative about something that happened to you. That part of you impresses me. I'm really not like that. I'm not the kind of person you should praise like that. I actually get flustered and feel c down and stuff. I have a job I enjoy and I am living like... I, I am living as I like, but I still expect too much like that. With my words, Mr. Saijo looks into my face and continues. You still think so right now? Huh? No. I had a small turning point, and now I think it all depends on me. I'm reconsidering things about my job. Then that's good, if you can change with a turning point. I hope so. Yes, I'm not really good at that. You're not? You don't seem that way. I don't know how you see me, but I'm just stuck in my past all the time. Mr. Saijo... I didn't expect him to talk about himself like this. That's... You're a wonderful flower arrangement artist, and... You're popular from woman. From woman? You're a calm, grown man, and my manager said he adores you. <laughs> really? Thanks. Popular, huh? But you must be popular from men, too? What? Me? That is not true. You were talking to a man in a friendly way today at the shop. Today? Oh, he's just my childhood friend. I don't see him as a man. He's more like my family, my sibling. Really? Yes, I encouraged him to have some green in his room like yours. My room? Ah, uh, I did it again. Y yes, you brought a potted plant the other day. And I heard you placed it in your room. But besides, you decorate your room with the flowers you arrange, don't you? Did I say so? Y yes, we talked about it. Have you forgotten? Is that so? I didn't do bad, right? He seems slightly suspicious of my words, but he doesn't seem to deepen this conversation any further. Maybe I think too much about everything. I never know what women are thinking, and maybe misunderstanding some things. Uh, oh. What does he mean, all of a sudden? I thought they're whimsy like cats, and self-serving, but maybe not all of them are like that. Mr. Saijo's profile is warm, but he seemed to carry conflicted feelings. Women are like cats, huh? Maybe Mr. Saijo is distrusting of women. I wonder what kind of woman he used to date. When I tried to imagine Mr. Saito with a woman, and felt my heart twist, I instinctively squeezed the clothes around my chest. Are you alright? Ah, uh, it's nothing. 
I look down to my feet evasively. I can't look straight into Mr. Saijo's face. He said he's misunderstanding a lot of things about women. Um, um, there are many kinds of women in the world, but I am a really normal person. Besides the fact that I turn into a cat. So, um, I think you wouldn't have anything to be troubled about me. So, please relax. Um, uh, okay. What am I saying? It's just that Mr. Saijo looks so lonely. I couldn't help it. When I think about it, I might have said something really misleading. How can I, how should I evade the situation? Wait. Wait a minute. This might be another safe, safe thing I need to save with. Never know. We're getting a perfect ending. Uh, would you like some bread? Tell me more about you. I'll head back now. Maybe this one? There we go. Um, I want to know more about you, Mr. Saijo. About me? Yes, what kind of flower do you like? Hmm, my favorite is Hydrangea. I don't know if I said that right. The ones that are deep blue or purple. Hydragas? There are so many kinds of them, and they're all really pretty. You like blue and purple flowers, right? Flowers with darker color? Yes, I used to dislike white flowers. I felt like they're intentionally snowing, showing off their purity. I see. It's a bit surprising Mr. Saijo would think of like that. Even though, even though they were straining, the white flowers are really white. Uh-huh. And maybe other flowers adore that whiteness in an innocent way. Adore? Yes. If I look at things meekly, I thought that might be true. See things meekly? When arranging flowers, Mr. Saijo's eyes look truly meek and desiring of truth. I thought he'd be like that toward anything, but maybe something happened to make him otherwise. Something to make him distrustful of others. This isn't just curiosity. I want to know, what is the shadow-like strange thing inside Mr. Saijo? Oh yes, are you okay on time? What? Uh, yes, time. I peek at the clock, and it's almost time to go back to work. I was going to return a little early, but I had forgotten to check on time. Uh, oh look, Little Strolls is playing Octopath Traveler. Good job. Um, well then, please come talk to me the next time you come to our shop. Hi. Yes, Hi. of course. Mr. Saijo smiled warmly. Let's talk like this on our next occasion. Yes! With lingering feelings, I return to work. Through the short conversation, though through the short conversation, I felt like I had understand Mr. S understood Mr. Saijo a little that he's caught up in something. I wonder what happened in this past, I want to know. Uh, I wonder what happened in this past, I want to know. Would a time come when he'd tell me? When will I be able to see Mr. Saijo in human form next time? I can't wait for coincidences like today to happen. After I flustered around taking care of the last customers, I was in a great hurry to close the shop. If I stay and work too late, I turn into a cat here. Mr. Manager, I'll come in early tomorrow, so please leave the maintenance of foliage plants for me. It's alright, I'll do it. No, it's my job. I really can't stay today. I'm sorry. It can't be helped, since there's a time limit for my human form. It's inconvenient how my working hours are restricted. Alright then. Thanks! I start to take off my apron and walk toward the back and pause. Um, Takuma, uh, have you ever asked a customer out for a date? What? A date? Yes, in private. A person you met as a customer. Nah, I've never done that. Do you have someone you want to ask out? What? No, not at all. You seem popular from the customers, so I was just wondering. Or have you been asked out? Hmm, I have been a few times, but I didn't want any trouble afterwards, so I declined them politely. I see. As I thought, it's a bit difficult for a clerk to suddenly ask a customer out on private. So, who did you? Who do you want to ask out? Takama asked with a teasing smile. It's not like that. Well, excuse me. I'll leave for today. Thanks for your work today. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Mine, got. I spring out of the shop and jog toward the park. Even when I see Mr. Saijo in my cat form every night, 
Everything I want to know remains a mystery. I can't talk as a cat, so I fawn on him, and he lets me fawn. It's probably humans Mr. Saijo can't trust. Especially woman, I think. I need to see him in this form, or else they wouldn't learn anything. The moment I reached the park, the transformation took place. The time was really on the verge. Verg. I turned into a cat. I don't know how many times this happened. I'm supposed to be used to it, but I think anew. I really didn't want to become a cat tonight. I wanted to go to Mr. Saijo's as a human and talk to him about many things. I want to know more about Mr. Saijo. I can't get closer to his heart even if I'm close to him as a cat. I had been almost accepting of being a cat, but I deny it once again. The way to undo this curse, I must rethink it seriously. Oof. Episode 6, guys. Hello! It's a beautiful day today. The flowers seem comfortable and cheerful on days like these. I pick up the watering pot full of water and step outside to water the potted plants. Of course, we need to take care of the flowers for sale, but we also maintain the flower bed in the road in front of our shop. It was decided by the shopping district that we take care of the flowers on our decided division. It's not like the pride of being a flower shop, but Takuma and I always decide on seasonal flowers to plant and grow. After I water the potted plants, I look up to water the flower beds. Huh? There is a girl about four years old staring at the marigold in the flower bed. There are no adults around. Is she alone? I approach the child and talk to her. Hello. Hello. The little girl looks up at me, unfrightened, and smiles sweetly. How adorable! I crouch down beside her. Do you like flowers? Uh-huh. This yellow one is cute. It's called Marigold. Marigold? Yep. It's really strong and easy to grow. They're cute and like round lanterns, right? Yeah. Lanterns. Hey, what's your name? Mika. Mika-chan. Did you come here alone? Nuh-uh. With mom. I thought so. She wouldn't be alone at this age. Where's your mom? Mika-chan's face suddenly clouded. She looks around frantically. I realize that she hadn't noticed her mother wasn't there until now. Mom? Where are you? Ah, I knew it. Overtaken by a rush of anxiety, Mika-chan's face crumpled up. Mom! Mom! A tear falls out of her large eyes. It's okay, Mika-chan. A chance starts to bowel, to bowl. <laughs> ah, she started to cry. I really hope her mother hears her crying. I stroke Mika Chan's head in it and try to soothe her while I look around. There is no one around today. I wonder where she got parted from her mother. I figured she wouldn't be able to answer even if I ask. Just waiting here wouldn't make her mother come back. Mika Chan, I'm sure your mom is looking for you, so let's go to the police station together. Hick, the. Police? Yep, if we go there, your mom would come see us. Let's go together, alright? Heck, yeah, yeah. Mika chan tries hard to hold in her cries, and her small attempts are kind of sweet. You stop crying, that's really strong of you. I pat her head reassuringly and led her by the hand into the shop. What a. What a strange turn of events this is. Excuse me, Mr. Manager. This girl is lost. She seems to be parted with her mother. What? That's terrible. I don't see her mother around, so I want to take her to the police station. Yeah, I think that's best. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Ah, I'll pay for it later. So may I have one of the marigolds? Sure, but what are you going to do with it? <laughs> it's a good luck charm. I pick out a long stem marigold sold for flower arrangement and cut the stem so that Mika-chan could hold it. Here you go, Mika-chan. Marigold? Up. Uh, it's even more like a lantern than the one you were looking at, right? Uh-huh. It's cute. Or kawaii. Marigolds are strong flowers that drink a lot of water and fight hard because they listen to stay hydrated bot. So it's a good luck charm so you can see your mom again. Thanks. 
Watching Mika-chan firmly holding that merry-gold in her hands makes me happy too. Maybe we became a maybe we became a happy and cheerful when we decorated our rooms with flowers because we feel the power of plants. Hey, you should hurry to the police station, or else you might miss her mom. Oh yeah, excuse me for a while. Lost? Uh, yes, she was in front of our shop. It seems like she got parted with her mother. Her mother hasn't come yet? Not that I know of. Um, what's your name? Mika Fukaze! Oh, you can answer properly. Good job. Hehe. <laughs> What's wrong? Ah, Mr. Fujimoto. Mr. Fujimoto came forward from the back and seemed surprised to see me. She got parted with her mother. Is that so? Ah, that is... Mr. Fujimoto noticed the, notices the marigold in Mika-chan's hand. Did someone give you that? Mr. Fujimoto crouches down in front of Mika-chan and pokes the marigold. Uh-huh. She gave it to me as a lucky charm. Really? It's a nice lucky charm. Ah, so Mr. Fujimoto can make such a gentle expression. I guess everyone has a secret side to them. Mika-chan, do you know which way your house is? Um, it's toward the river. River? Does she mean that river? Hmm, <laughs> let's look at the map. The police officer spreads the map of the neighborhood on the desk. This must be the river. Mr. Fujimoto traces a single small river with his fingers. Yes, I think so then it must be near Mr. Saijo's house. Around the river is a residential area. If the residents need to shop, they would come here. Mr. Saijo, you know someone who lives around the area? Huh? Yes, Mr. Saijo, the flower arrangement artist. He always wears kimonos and always takes walks around the neighborhood. You know him, right? Hey, you know him? No. What, even Mr. Fujimoto? You patrol the area, right? It's a large house, so I think it leaves an impression. I don't recall such a house. It can't be. Um, it's here. I found where Mr. Saijo's house is on the map and point at it. It's larger than the other divisions, but it's the only area where the landowner's name isn't written. Huh? His name isn't here. There. Ah, oh, you're right. This area is really big, but was there a house? But was there our house? God. Hmm, I can't remember. Maybe yes, maybe not. I've been here so many times, though. Well, it is a residential area, so there are a lot of houses there. I turn around toward the sudden voice, and a woman rushes into the police station. Why did you leave like that? Mom! The woman hugs Mika-chan, and with that lets out her suppressed tears. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, too. Um, are you the one who brought Mika here? Yes, she was looking at the flowers in front of our shop. I'm sorry we caused trouble. I let my eyes off of her for a moment in the supermarket, and I didn't think she would be outside. No problem. I'm glad we found her. I apologize to you as well for causing a trouble. That's all right. Just be careful for her. Anyway, she was able to say her name and where she lives. She's a very smart child. Is that so? Thank you so much. The mother left with Mika-chan turning around numerous times to bow. What a relief. Yeah, so don't you have to go back to work? Oh, yeah, excuse me, I'll head back now. Take care. I hurried back to the shop, seen off with me by Mr. Fujimoto. Ding dong. I'm back. Welcome home, or welcome back. Oh my God, what am I saying? How'd it go? Her mother came to pick her up shortly. Takuma sighs in relief at my words. Was everything okay in here? Yeah, it was alright. Well, since you're back, I'll get ready to go to delivery. Okay, then I'll make that ordered arrangement. I gaze at the flowers in the storefront as I say this and find the calla lilies I had given to Mr. Saijo the other day. Oh, yes, sir, it's strange. The officers at the police station don't know about Mr. Saijo's house. Huh? They said they patrol that area, but they don't... But they don't can't even recall that large house. There aren't many people who walk around in kimonos, so they should know about Mr. Saijo as well. Takuma is staring at me with a dumbfounded face. Takuma, what's wrong? Saijo. Mr. Saijo. Saijo. 
Huh? Yes, Mr. Saijo, the flower arrangement artist. The way he said it sounded as if he was first. It was his first time hearing the name, and I start to get terrified. Mr. Saijo, one of our regulars. Mr. Saijo. Oh, oh yes, Mr. Saijo. Yes, you know him, right? Of course. Mr. Saijo, the flower arrangement artist, right? Of course I know him. For some reason, right now, it felt like I didn't know him. What? Stop, that's scary. I know, right? It's just my memory. Shouldn't it be like this at my age? Takuma also seems puzzled, tilting his head in confusion. You scared me. Even if Takuma can't remember him, it's as if Mr. Saijo doesn't exist. That's impossible. Sorry, sorry. Well then, I'll go get set up for delivery and take my break. Alright. I smile in an attempt to erase the horrible thought in my mind and focus on my job. What could this mean, I wonder? What could all of this mean? Welcome! Ah! Hello. Seeing Mr. Saijo in person made the strange anxiety fogging my heart disappear in no time. It's nothing big, even if the policemen don't know about him, right? What's wrong? Is there something on my face? Uh, no. What are you looking for today? Let's see. Do you have any recommendations? Recommendations? Hmm. Yeah, how about peony? Their colors are really pretty and... Hmm. I prefer a flower that's a bit simpler. Simpler. Ah, you do choose those kinds of flowers often. He also said that he's not very fond of white flowers. People's preferences do differ accordingly. Oh, yes, do you know there are very pretty magnolias in the corner of that promenade? Yes, they are indeed pretty. They bloomed a bit slowly this year. That's true. Usually, they would have wilted by now. I found them the other day, and wished I could see them with Mr. Saijo. There are hydraica stalks around that are as well. A lot of them are purple and blue, probably due to the soil. Yes, I look forward to it every year. I wish we could take a walk and see them together. Thinking to myself, I remember the bride I saw in the wedding hall I'd gone to for work. Talking about how hydragas the bride I saw the other day had a headdress decorated with antique colored hydragas. With hydragas? Yes. I couldn't stop staring since it's uncommon. I wish I could wear such a pretty headdress. I'll keep it a secret how I was reminded of Mr. Saijo when I saw the hydrangea. That's nice. It would look beautiful on you. You think so? I hope I'll become a bride one day. Whoa. As I was imagining myself in a wedding dress, Mr. Saijo takes a step toward me and reaches out. Dot. Uh, line, line. To fix a lock of hair that had been tickling my cheek. You as a bride. I'd like to see that. What? The moment I realized what he said, I could feel myself turn red to the tip of my ears. But marrying someone... Isn't it scary to pledge eternal love? Scary? Why? I can't pledge on such an indefinite thing as love. Mr. Saijo continues to wear a warm expression, and I can't figure out what he's thinking. I remember him saying woman or whimsy the other day. I wonder if that has anything to do with this. Do you think love is indefinite, Mr. Saijo? I don't really know. I don't even know what love is. That... I'm at a loss of words at Mr. Saijo's response. Love might be indefinite, but Mr. Saijo's expression was full of sorrow when he said he doesn't understand love. I'm sorry, that was a strange topic. I'll go home for today. Oh, yes. Uh, um... What is it? I suddenly feel like if we part now, I would never see him again. That can't be, but... Sometime, I squeeze my hands tightly. I want to know more about Mr. Saijo, that's for sure. Aw, oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, can I save still? Ha ha ha. Sucka. A flower. Yay, I think that was the right one. Um, would you teach me flower arrangement? Flower arrangement? Yes, the Eastern style has a different beauty from the Western flower arrangement, so I'm interested. Of course, I'll pay for the lessons. I figured you'd have classes, so I was hoping it'd overlap with my days off. Hmm, I don't mind. Really? 
Yes, if you're okay being taught by me. Of course. I sigh in relief at Mr. Saijo's words. Uh, um, can I have your number? Oh, I actually don't have a cell phone, so I'll contact you again. Ah, is that so? Alright. See you again, then. Thank you for today! Ding dong. Mr. Saijo left the shop swiftly. He didn't say that to politely refuse, right? It feels strange, as if the moment I cleared a level, I took a step back to the start line. I don't understand Mr. Saijo, his expression doesn't change at all. Occasionally, he shows emotion, but it returns to his usual face. Would he really contact me? I'll observe him tonight. Come to think of it, I've never seen him using a cell phone, so maybe he was telling the truth. Excuse me! It concerns me how he seems troubled and deep in his thoughts during the night. Hello! Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I can't daze off during work, I need to concentrate. The moonlight is shining brightly enough on the park that the streetlights feel unnecessary. After Takuma returned, I tried talking about Mr. Saijo again, and he seemed unable to remember him for a moment. He remembered shortly, but what is happening? When I think about this, an unexplainable foggy feeling fills my heart. An unbearable, strange feeling. Nevertheless, even after I transformed into a cat, I could not move from the park. I told Mr. Saijo to enjoy his new self, but I don't like being uncertain and lost. Nothing changes if I stay here, but my legs don't move. I wonder what Mr. Saijo thought of my request today. What if he was disgusted, thinking I got all happy with what he said about me as a bride? I never imagined myself being so worried about what someone thinks of me. The temperature is perfect in the nighttime park, and it's so comfy that I might be able to spend the night on the soft grass. The moonlight is especially bright tonight, though it's not scary either. Maybe I'll stay here tonight. I'm kind of scared to go to Mr. Saijo's place, but... I move to the grass and curl up at the root of a tree. I'm hungry, but I can't stand it. I could just sleep it off. I wonder if Mr. Saijo would be worried. I had been sleeping in Mr. Saijo's room every night since the first time I became a cat. I remember the window left slightly open for me. I'm sorry. When I imagine Mr. Saijo preparing food for me, my heart hurts with guilt, but I still couldn't move from the park. Aww. Episode 7. We'll get through this episode and then I'll think I'll call Oi. it, guys. Hey! Oi. Hey! As I was dozing off, I was started to wake up. I started to wake to a calling voice. Urgh, what is it? Be quiet! Okido. Wake up. Huh? Meow! I jumped up and looked around in awe. Okodayo. I'm up here! The voice reigns up from above. I look up and see the black cat on a tree above my head. Why are you sleeping here? It's none of your business where I sleep. I turn away and curl up again. I'm feeling kind of down tonight. Since the day I met the black cat and got cursed, I occasionally feel like I'm not who I used to be. It stirs up my feelings and I don't like it. What happened? There's that guy who always takes care of you. Go to his place. Why are you saying this to me? Are you worried about me? Well, why would I be worried about you? I tilt my head, puzzled at the black cat's perplexed reaction. Anyhow, you'll catch a cold if you sleep outside. Are you still going to sleep there? He sounds blunt, but kind at the same time, and that warms my heart a little. Well, he is worried about me. I gaze at the black cat and decide to try to talk to him once more. Hey, about that curse on me. I told you, if you want to undo it, kiss someone you like. I get that, but I don't understand why you cursed me. The black cats fell silent at my words. It's a curse, so you might have a grudge on me, right? Did I do something to make you hold a grudge? Not you. What? The answer that came back from the black cat was so small, I could barely hear it. If I didn't, who did? Anyways, if you want to get rid of that curse so much, I recommend you to find someone you like and just kiss. I don't sleep in such a place. Huh? Oh, wait. The black cat wiggled and hopped off the branch and disappeared into the darkness. No, wait. I wish you the best of luck. I start to run toward the voice. Hey, I really want to return human again. It can't be an unrequited love, right? The black cat doesn't answer. I desperately run after him, depending on the sounds he is making. 
I could see the black cat's tail and body in the dark, twinkling with moonlight. He escaped. I don't even know where I'm running. I'm just desperate to follow. But I could somehow tell that the black cat wouldn't answer me anymore. <sighs> it was impossible for me to catch up to the strange cat, and I had lost him completely. Where am I? I step out of the grass and stand on a large rock to see a Japanese-style garden. Mr. Saijo's garden? I came here again? Whenever I run after the black cat, I always lose sight of the him. Yep, I always lose sight of the him around here. I stand in awe in the moonlight garden for a while. I stand in the awe of the ham. See you later, Takuma. As usual, Takuma went to delivery on a small bike. He told me he has to make two trips for the order we had taken for the grand opening of a Japanese-style cafe close by. I'm excited since a Japanese-style cafe is uncommon here. I want to go with Mr. Saijo if I can. My thoughts shift to Mr. Saijo again. Last night, after finding myself in Mr. Saijo's garden, I sat there. I sat there in until Mr. Saijo came looking for me. When Mr. Saijo found me like that, he silently picked me up and took me inside. He just quietly stroked me for a while. Uh... I daze off, remembering what had happened last night. When the shop's phone starts ringing, hello, this is Flower Shop Flora. Yes, an order for an arrangement, correct? I open the notebook for reservations and write down the customer's order. Alright, an, an arrangement basket for 5,000 yen. Yes, mainly using pink roses. The customer wants a cute kind of arrangement, so I eye the flowers in the storefront with the several designs in mind. Yep, it'll probably turn out pretty gorgeous. Alright, you'll come to pick it up about around 2 o'clock noon on Wednesday. We can make alterations on that day as well, if you prefer. Yes, we'll be waiting for you. Click. I randomly turn some pages in the reservation notebook and notice something. Mr. Saijo's name isn't here. I flutter, fluster through more pages for past reservations, but Mr. Saijo's name is nowhere to be found. We sometimes don't write down on-the-day reservations, but besides that, it's established to write down the orders in the notebook, so even if the person who took the order isn't there, someone can do the job. We do occasionally write down on the day reservations, just in case. Especially Takuma. It can't be that I had taken all of the on the day reservations until now, right? It's just unnatural. The uneasy anxiety from yesterday has returned. I start looking from the very first page of the notebook. His name is still not there. In fact, I can't remember when Mr. Saijo became our customer. How hard I try. I think he hasn't come yet when I started working. But I wonder if Takuma knew him at that point. But that house has been there all the time, right? Oh, the harder I try to remember, the cloudier my memory becomes. There's no actual proof that Mr. Saijo exists. He's vague in people's memories, and there's nothing written about him. His name isn't even on the map. Mr. Saijo, where are you? Will his name come up if I look it up on the internet? But when I imagine finding nothing, I'm scared I wouldn't know what to believe. If I go to the garden again, would the same Mr. Saijo who had been stroking me last night be there? I want to go see him right now. If I talk to him in person, this feeling should go away. I'm back! Takuma parks his bike in front of the store and walks in. Ah, welcome back. What's wrong? You don't look too well. N nothing Oh, yes, sir. We got an arrangement order for Wednesday just now. The request was cute and gorgeous with pink roses. Can I make it, sir? Of course. I'm counting on you. Yes, I'll do my best. I answer cheerfully, but the anxiety from before comes back when I see Takuma's gentle smile. Uh, um, Takuma? I open my mouth to ask about Mr. Saijo, but I was scared he wouldn't remember again, and I pause timidly. No, nothing. Please tell me how the cafe looks sometime. Yes, I will. Well then, off I go again. Takuma leaves with the flowers and foliage plants he had prepared. I restart my task melancholy mel mechanically in the silence in the silent shop. Can't I just talk to Mr. Saijo when he comes and goes and goes Can't I just talk to Mr. Saijo when he comes and go see him when I'm go see him when I'm a cat. 
just as I had been always doing? I asked myself in my mind. Change is scary, but I also feel like I wouldn't be able to get closer to Mr. Saijo like this. It was when I was thinking in circles like that. Hello! A flashy figure entered with a cheerful voice, disrupting my thoughts in a good way. Ah, Mr. Kawahara, welcome! Oh, are you alone? Takama went to do some delivery. Oh, I went to order a bouquet again. Can you do that? Yes, of course. <laughs> then please, who are you giving it to? Huh? Why? I just thought their taste in roses might change according to their age or hobby. Huh? You know, you kind of grew up. Well, I would. She's a nice lady in her 40s. She's elegant and kind of dreamy, too. Elegant and dreamy? I chose the antique pink rose as the main flower. and start to make a bouquet. Isn't this color a kind of plain? A kind of plain? It is when you look at it alone. It's pretty when you arrange it when s with simple colors. I think elegant woman would like it. Oh. Uh, Mr. Kawahara, can I ask to... What? If I say let's see each other when I'm off, and the next person doesn't contact me on the next day, what do you think that means? Huh? That just means he doesn't want to see you. I knew it. Well, I do think that's not always the case. What, what do you mean? You should ask that in person. I'm asking you because I can't ask him in person. He may just have been busy, or he might be testing you. Testing? You're good. I never would have. I would have never thought of that. If I had seen many people and had been testing others like Mr. Kawahara, uh, would I be able to understand what Mr. Saijo was thinking or wanting? Mystery. Seems like a nice cafe. They said they'll see what happens, and until that, and until that, they're not going to be open in nights. Takuma told me about the cafe after he returned from his delivery. Japanese-style beverages like hojicha, latte, and black syrup kinako latte, and with green tea parfaits and plated foods for lunch menu. It's the kind of cafe girls like. You're off tomorrow, so why don't you go? <laughs> yes. Mr. Saijo would know when the shop is closed, so if he doesn't contact me today, do we have to fret until next week again? I thought I'd like to go with Mr. Saijo, but I don't think he'll contact me. It might be time to get things straight between us. You're right, I hope I can go. Takuma made a slightly puzzled face at my words, but still made a smile. I'm quietly listening to the smooth flow of the river. The moonlight is bright on the surface of the water. I was thinking about going straight to Mr. Saijo's, but... Mr. Saijo didn't contact me today. After all, come to think of it, I didn't give him my number, and the number he has is of the shop. He didn't ask, so that must mean he has no intention of contacting me. He's not even testing me. I wonder if I can't do anything anymore. After a while, I hear quiet footsteps. I turn around to the sound and see Mr. Saijo walking. There you are. Mr. Saijo looks expressionless more than usual today. I'm not really fond of him under the moonlight. He's too beautiful. Mr. Saijo sits beside me. I like talking. I liked taking walks, but I don't know if I'm taking a walk or I'm just looking for you these days. Mr. Saijo? You're not anyone's cat, so there's no guarantee you'll come back to me. So it might be odd for me to wait. Mr. Saijo is gazing to the distance. It's like he's talking to someone, something, far away instead of me. To me. Uh, does that mean he had been looking for me yesterday and today? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Mr. Saijo looks down at me. I had been gazing at Mr. Saijo, so our eyes met firmly. I thought you want to eat it by now, so I made you cat food. That makes my stomach growl. Even if I prepare you with comfortable living space, you still leave without any words. That's not true. Does Mr. Saijo think I don't come back because I don't want to? Uh, just in case, I'm gonna do a little bit of savey save. Hat's not true, guys. The hat is not true. Yay! <clears throat> no, 
I want to be with you, Mr. Saijo. I want to get closer. I can't do that as a cat, so... It's frustrating. Being here in this form doesn't tell Mr. Saijo anything. I put my paws on Mr. Saijo's arm. What's wrong? Meow. I want Mr. Saijo to at least know I don't hate him. I meow fawningly and climbed on Mr. Saijo's knees. Are you hungry? Do you want your food after all? No. Perhaps it's impossible to communicate this way. I repeatedly meow and grasped onto Mr. Saijo's arm. Okay, okay. Mr. Saijo lifts me up to his face. Our faces are suddenly so close, and my heart jumps. I think I want to believe. Mr. Saijo. Mr. Saijo's deep colored eyes waver in front of me. The core of my head starts to heat up as I stare. Mr. Saijo, I really... Mr. Saijo smiles affectionately and hugs me to his chest. Aww. Isn't this sweet, guys? Maybe this feeling is called love. Mr. Saijo mumbles quietly, stands up with me in his arms, and starts walking toward his house. Mr. Saijo, what does that... Mr. Saijo talks no, talk no more. His gentle fingertips continue to play with my fur and tail, but he remains silent. If he doesn't talk to me as a cat, if he doesn't contact me, then I have to go to him directly. I'll come here as a human tomorrow, and I'll tell him my true feelings. I decided in my heart, and next thing I noticed, I'd fallen asleep in Mr. Saijo's arms. Episode 8 Alright, we might be getting close to the end, I'm not sure. One more chapter, I swear. I know this is going on a little bit longer, but I want to see this through. I doubt the wisdom of just daisily sitting in the park from the morning, but I can't work up the courage to stand up, so I just sit there and watching the clock. Sit there watching the clock. Probably because I occasionally feed them here. A stray cat trots to my feet. I'm oh, sorry, I don't have any food today. Come to think of it, I hadn't really interacted with other cats since the day I first became a cat. The only time was when I asked around for the black cat. If I became a cat, I'd just play around without any concerns and talk to the other cats. I had imagined before, but once I really did become a cat, things like that had never crossed my mind. I did play around in Mr. Saijo's room, but it was more important for me to go there. Besides, a cat's life isn't as easygoing as I imagine it to be. You have your own troubles and concerns. I didn't know anything, and wanted to be a cat to live an easy life. Sorry. I'll do my best too. I made up I make up my mind and stand up. Is anyone still here by the way, or did this game and me shoo everyone away? If so, oh well. Nothing I can do about that. It's my first time going to Mr. Saijo's house as a human. What if I can't reach his house? What if his house isn't there? Dark thoughts circle my mind as I continue to walk. Snake Lad is not here. Hey, you're still here somehow. I applaud you. It's too bad that there's no uh, grammatical errors, you know? I kind of miss the grammar errors. The house was there. I stand in front of the magnificent gate. There's no nameplate. I remember how his name wasn't on the map either. It's uncommon that such a magnificent house doesn't have a nameplate. Where's the doorbell? It should be right next to the entrance. You came. Wah! A voice suddenly greets me from the other side of the gate, and I jump in surprise. I'm sorry I surprised you. Mr. Saijo, no, I'm sorry I came without an appointment. I would be surprised if a person came to my house without telling me beforehand. Yeah. It's alright. Come in. You're letting me in? You're going to be modest at this point. Mr. Saijo gives out an amused chuckle. At this point, I only, I only came in front of his house. He doesn't have to make me feel that impudent. But, well, there's no point in being modest now. I allow myself to enter through the open gate. Mr. Saijo standing there with a knife in his hand. Yeah, The garden is the same as when I saw it as a cat, but it looks completely different from how it looks at nighttime. I thought it was much wider. It was a much wider garden. It is big, but not that big. 
when I change perspective, things look normal or not as immense. Maybe this is a common thing. I guess it's the same as when I found out a cat's life isn't as great. I follow Mr. Saijo and enter the front door. The silent house feels lifeless as usual. Excuse me! Mr. Saijo really does live alone here. It doesn't even feel like Mr. Saijo live here. What's that? Come here. Mr. Saijo seems to be leading me to his room. I tense up a little. Has this hallway always been this long? It feels like I'm dreaming. We continue through the dull hallway, and Mr. Saijo opens the Fusuma door on the right of the end of the room of the hall. Inside is the usual room. Here we are. The cushion that had become my usual bed is still there. Ah, the flower. You arranged it. You must have just done that. Done the preservation, for there are flowers and tools still out. They're dark blue irises. I picked them from my garden. I see. Please sit. Thank you. I don't know where the best place to sit is. I sat diagonally behind Mr. Saijo, so I could watch him and the flowers he's arranging. You want to see me arrange flowers? Mr. Saijo says, amused, and turns back to me from where he had sat in front of the flowers. Yes. It's a bit restless if you're not at the usual position, isn't it? Huh? Was there a rule on where to sit when watching a flower arrangement? Mr. Saijo faces forward and looks straight at the flower. I can feel the strength and assurance of his eye. I even from behind. Mr. Saijo takes the iris in hand and fixes the shape of the leaf, all the while staring at the flower organ. This is called tame, and it's no and it's to fix the shapes of leaves and stems when arranging flowers. Uh-huh. It's interesting how we don't try the natural shape of plants when we're trying to express the beauty of nature. Does that mean it doesn't look natural in its natural form? I guess it means to make a shape that fits our definition of nature. But that's more reassuring to me. Reassuring? It's reassuring to define something and make it fit the definition. I don't like anything irregular. Like when people's hearts change with the passage of time. Yes, if I make myself believe that, my heart would stay calm. Oh, Mr. Saijo carefully inserts the iris into the Kenzen. Mr. Saijo, what happened to you that makes you distrustful of humans? Mr. Saijo falls silent with my question, put his hands on his knees and starts talking, his eyes staring at the distance. A long time ago, a man fell in love with a beautiful girl. The man had only had only a small cat, but was earnest and faithful. <laughs> Bia Makaru left a while ago. Aww. I'm all alone, guys. <laughs> No, I'm not. Though stay hydrated bot is not here, which makes me sad. The man did everything for the girl in order to become a couple. Finally, his wish was fulfilled, and they pledged their eternal love for each other. After that, the man worked hard, very hard, and didn't let any trouble hit the girl. And that man's selfless income turned into her clothes and jewelry. Huh? One day, the man was suddenly informed from the girl that she had found a better, richer person, that she didn't need him anymore. That's horrible! The pitiful man gave himself up to despair, and all of the hard work came back to him, making him sick. The man left, let out all of his grudges and thoughts, grudging thoughts of the girl to his pet black cat every day, and got sicker and sicker. Black cat? Wait, is that... The man suffered and died alone. No! The black cat wondered. What is love? Is it something that takes everything, betrays you and kills you? This gen gentle, he gentle loving owner had changed. It's all because of that woman. I won't trust anything. Anyone. Owner. Yeah, things are getting, things are getting real, guys. My thoughts were all over the place. Confused, my mind is circling all around, all around for our, our. My mind is circling around the answer. Then what is Mr. Saijo? Why isn't his name on the map? Why doesn't anyone know Mr. Saijo? The reason Mr. Saijo doesn't exist in Mr. Saijo in this town is because he doesn't exist as a human. That black cat was you. That would explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd notice earlier. 
The smirk on Mr. Saijo's face definitely overlaps with the black cat. Uh, impossible. Why? You came here because you noticed something was wrong, didn't you? Yes, the officers at the police box? And Takuma didn't remember Mr. Sai Saijo? And your name wasn't on our reservation notebook. <laughs> I know, because Saijo doesn't exist. Doesn't exist? <clears throat> this is a form I created with my spirit power. Oh my gosh. Parrot power? Then, the reason everyone, everyone keeps on forgetting. If I'm there in person, my existence makes sense to them. And if I'm not... Me not existing also makes sense to them. I made your memory definite, so it should have been easier for me, for mutual acquaintances to remember me. That's why Takuma couldn't remember faster, and would walk and would talk about him even when Mr. Saijo wasn't there. So that power... Do you know about Nekomata, a cat phantom? I mourned and mourned about my owner's death, and the next thing I notice, I'm like this. More and became a phantom. I was filled with hatred, hatred toward everything. Mr. Saijo says through gritting teeth, and in a blink, everything turns white. Ah! When I opened my eyes again, a black cat was sitting in front of me. There's no sign of Mr. Saijo. The smooth black fur, the odd eye, it's definitely that. Black cat. It was really him. Even when I actually see him with my own eyes, I still have conflicted feelings of understanding and disbelief. I hated that woman who changed my owner, and my owner that turned me into a phantom. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only reason you were cursed was because you're a human woman. That's it. So that's why, but you regret it right now, don't you? I realized through spending time with Mr. Saijo as a black cat, and as a human, that he always had a feeling, has a feeling of remorse. Why do you think that? Maybe you found me as Mr. Saijo only through curiosity. But I think you appeared in front of me, in cat form after that, and worried for me, because you felt regretful. You're not angry? I shake my head to Mr. Saijo's word. I thought love is only an illusion, until I met and spent time with you. Mr. Saijo, I felt warm spending time with you. I didn't want to realize what this feeling is. And sometimes I thought you would stay with me forever if you turned into a cat. Eh? I'm sorry. I made you suffer with my selfishness. I'll take the penalty for this, Mr. Saijo said and quietly closed his eyes. Penalty? No, it's nothing like that. I didn't come here for something like that. I just wanted to know who you are and how you feel about me. It's no good this way, so I wanted to move on. Move on? I had always wanted to know Mr. Saijo's true feelings. I continue as I look straight into Mr. Saijo's eyes gazing at me, suspiciously. Your deep, deep affection for your owner, and the sorrow that he died. You're here as a Nekomata right now, because that never changed, right? That, that feeling must be your love toward your owner. Maybe you became a phantom because of the love, but... I think there's something more. A pure kind of love in this world. I wanted Mr. Saijo to know that. Mr. Saijo made a self-depreciating smile at my words. Hmm. Would you be able to say the same after this? Mr. Saijo spits out coldly in response to my desperate words. What? The time as a cat is getting longer, don't you think? Ah! It's true. Compared to before, the time I became a cat is getting earlier. The curse is adopting onto you. The effect is getting stronger and stronger. What happens if it gets stronger? Eventually, you'll never be able to turn back to a human. What? No! I can't do anything about the curse getting stronger. Mr. Saijo quietly looks away from me. Can you forgive me? Trust me? Me who put such a curse on you? That's... I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Huh? Mr. Saijo quickly eyed me and jumped outside from the slightly open window. Wait, Mr. Saijo, where are you going? I hurry up and ran toward the window to open my usual entrance wide. There's no hint of the cat of the black cat anywhere. Mr. Saijo! He suffered and reached a conclusion alone, then left alone. How cruel! I feel my power leave from my legs. I sink down next to the window. Does this mean I won't be able to return human? To undo the curse? 
kiss someone you like. The only person I think of when I hear someone I like is him. But that someone disappeared, leaving me alone. My view blurs with tears. The usual cushion. The primrose on the windowsill. He placed it here and grew it, thinking about me. Do you know what primrose symbolizes in the flower language? Uh, it means to open your destiny. It means lasting love. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice echoes in the silent room. There is no longer an answering voice. My helpless emotion spills a little, taking the form of a tear fallen from the edge of my eye. The lonely, look, I, lonely looking iris that was left in the middle of the arrangement was aligned uneasily, as if the long and short ones are trying to hesitately, hesitantly feel their way toward each other. Happy end. Well, there we go, guys. Happy end. After Mr. Saijo left his house, the house felt even more deserted, and I couldn't stand being there any longer. I couldn't make myself go home, and I sat myself on the usual, and I sat on the usual park bench. I like this place, but it's a bit lonely. The usual kids walked toward me. I noticed it's almost time I usually, I'd usually be on break from work. Sorry, I don't have anything. The stray cats reminded me of Mr. Saijo, and I let out a deep sigh. <sighs> Where'd he go? He seemed like he's able... He's able to live anywhere without any special needs. Perhaps he's already in a place far away. I hadn't even confessed my true feelings to him. I'm definitely going to regret if I, if I don't do anything. I need to tell him everything, every detail. Am I a human? I come back to Mr. Saijo's house once again. It looks even emptier than when I left. It's uh, it's almost as if no one has been living there for years. I wonder if he hasn't returned here. I'll look for him. I can't just stay here and do nothing. I jog and look around. I knew deep in my heart that he wouldn't be just hanging around here. But I can't stop here. Where should I look? I try to remember the conversation I had with Mr. Saijo, the place I first met him. Ah, Hydrangea. The Hydrangeas were in the promenade. The ones we said we'd see together. That place! Perhaps he's there. I wish he is. I start running with hopeful thoughts. And there he is. I hope. I reach the riverside and run downstream. There aren't much people in the promenade during the weekdays. After a while of running, beautiful colors start to come into view. Wow, amazing! Not all of them have bloomed, but the wide blue gray grand gradation is beautiful. Mr. Saijo, that moment I felt the rustle of a presence. I look toward it and see a black cat staring at me with different colored eyes. Mr. Saijo, I try to approach him, but the black cat turns its back on me and starts to run. Wait, don't go. I immediately follow him. I couldn't lose him now, and I ran without taking my eyes off of him. Mr. Saijo, I have something to tell you. We're almost at... <clears throat> ah. We're almost at the edge of the promenade, and I shout out. The black cat's legs twitch and stop. Please, just listen to me. Please. The black cat slowly looks back. His eyes are swaying with confusion and anxiety. I... The moment Mr. Saijo opened his mouth, a small truck suddenly appears on the road. He's standing as a black cat. Look out! I instinctively jumped out of on the road. As I hugged the black cat to my chest, the loud screech of the truck hitting the brakes echoed, and I blacked out. Uh-oh. I hope I'm not dead. Hold on in there. I wake up to Mr. Saijo's voice, and I can't figure out what kind of situation I'm in. Nah. Are you all right? I open my eyes and see a familiar ceiling. It's Mr. Saijo's room. Mr. Saijo is looking down on me in human form. His long hair tickles my cheeks and neck. Mr. Saijo, that tickles. You, what were you thinking? I still feel dizzy. A car came. Mr. Saijo, the cat was about to get hit, so I instinctively jumped in. Oh yeah, if Mr. Saijo and I are here, it means Mr. Saijo saved me. Mr. Saijo, are you injured at all? Why are you worried about me? Do you not realize the situation you're in? Me? <clears throat> uh, I'm laying in bed, and my head feels dizzy, but nothing hurts. I feel fine. That's because I'm healing you. 
What? You are? You were hit by the truck and were knocked down. You were hit and scraped all over. You were bleeding. I couldn't have healed you if you were unlucky. Mr. Saijo lets out a deep sigh. I notice his hand slightly squeezing mine. Your spirit powers can heal too, huh? Why did you do such a thing? I wanted to save you. That's it. I told you I'm not human. If I lose you too, then I'll have nothing left. Mr. Saijo's hands tightens over mine. He's trembling a little. I'm sorry. I haven't healed you completely yet, so stay like this just a little bit more. Yes. I calm myself and control my breathing. I realize a warm energy entering my body from my hands. Mr. Saijo let go of one hand, fingering through my bangs, and rests his hands in my forehead. It reminds me of when I was a cat. Am I really going to become a cat? Mr. Saijo's hands pause with my word. I approach you out of curiosity. You seem to be working hard in the shop, but it amused me how you were complaining to the cats at the park. It bothered me that you seemed kind of bored of life, so I thought I'd give you some excitement. So you turned me into a cat. You seem to be close to many men, so I thought you'd just pick one of them and easily undo the curse. That. But I kind of fret when I saw you hopeless. That's why you took care of me? Yes, I really had to find someone for you and undo the curse. But it was so fun spending time with you. I couldn't let go of you. I didn't want you to leave, and I thought you'd stay with me if you'd really become a cat. I really thought like that? But you had regained your passion for work and value your life as a human. It's nothing like that. I stared at Mr. Saijo's lonely eyes. I could be positive about my work. I should, could change my perspective. Only because I became a cat and started to value my limited time. And because I started listening to your thoughts. If it hadn't been for you, I would have been able to think like this. Besides, I once thought if I became a cat, it'd be okay to just stay there and spend time like this. That's how important spending time with you was to me, Mr. Saijo. You might not believe me, but I care for you more than anyone else, Mr. Saijo. I had been hating human woman. I'll probably never forget what that woman did to my owner. But when I saw at you, but when I saw at you, for some reason, I thought I might be able to believe again. Do you remember how I told you I want to arrange flowers as beautiful as I can? Because they all have an end up to it? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yes, yeah, since I heard that, I started to be aware of that. I pitied flowers, but lately I feel jealous of them. Jealous? Come to think of it, those words he had said sounded sympathetic toward flowers. I have no end. I can't die. So I'll probably exist in this world forever. I can't live on in the same time as you are living on. I understand that, but I foolishly wanted to be next to you. Mr. Saijo, I... Mr. Saijo continued, cutting me off. Your wounds are healed already. His hands let go, and my hands feel cold and des deserted. I slowly got up. There's not a single wound in my body. I get fraught with emotion when I think he healed every single wound for me. Thank you. No, it's all my fault, so I'm so sorry. Mr. Saijo looks down, avoiding my eyes. Mr. Saijo, I really love you. Mr. Saijo looks up in surprise. What are you? Even if you're not human, my feelings won't change. What do you think of me? He said he wanted to be this, be with me. Does Mr. Saijo feel the same as me? I wanted to hear from him. <gasps> I love you. I love you so much. I never imagined myself feeling this way to a human again. Woman. Mr. Saijo, will you stay with me forever? Yes. Thank you for forgiving me. Mr. Saijo put his hands around my neck, pulled me close, and gently put his lips on mine. Aww. How long do you have to take to get ready? Mr. Saijo, the cat, mumbles impatiently on the cushion at the corner of my bed. Just a little bit more, my bed head won't go away. I don't think it's that different from usual. Hey, that's mean. The curse was undone with Mr. Saijo's kiss. He now lives in my house as a black cat. You're going to be late if you don't hurry. Hey, it's not like I made an appointment, so there's no being late. Don't rush me. I say as I peek at the clock and realize it's almost the time I had planned. Ah, it's almost time. Wait, I need to water the plants. The 
black cat stretches and hops to the ground as if saying, I told you so, and starts walking toward the door. I water the potted primrose on the windows. I had brought it from Mr. Saijo's room. I check myself on the mirror and turn to the front door, bag in hand. Let's go. I'm tired of waiting. Mr. Saijo was waiting at the front door, wearing a kimono as well as a tired face. Sorry, but being a girl is pretty hard. Even if he's a cat in my room, it's natural for girls to want to look pretty when going out with someone she loves. Since Mr. Saijo has hated a woman for a long time, he doesn't understand some things about how girls feel. I mean, that's what makes him cute. Well then, let's go. Coffee house. As we walk through the shopping district, the familiar clerks see us and make an odd face. Oh, you two on a date? How nice. Hello. Hello. The lady from the bakery next to our shop has been, had been in the middle of cleaning up. Oh yeah, there's some bread that I messed up a bit on. You want them? Really? Yay, I'd be happy to have them. Wait there for a sec. The lady went back into the shop. I thought you just had breakfast. We can eat it tomorrow morning. Besides, I want to give some away. Mr. Saijo looks puzzled by my words. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. It's only a little but bit, but please take it. Thank you. Excuse us. Yep, have a nice day! Mr. Saijo and the lady bow lightly and start walking, but the lady will probably forget about Mr. Saijo soon. But that didn't matter. If he stays by my side forever, I don't mind if no one approves us or remembers us. I want to take a walk next, right? Yes. Ah, can we go through the park? Yes, of course. There, there, I have some snacks for you today. Ah, uh, you meant this when you said give out. I hadn't been able to bring anything lately, so I thought they'd be hungry. You don't have to worry. This guy regularly gets food from this one place. What? Really? Oh, well, you still want snacks, right? The bread here is really good. <laughs> what a luxurious snack. <laughs> That's true. As I was petting the cat, Mr. Saijo suddenly takes hold of my hand. Mr. Saijo? Isn't that enough? Huh? But I haven't. This guy's being spoiled by others already, so you don't have to spoil him too. Um, are you jealous? Looking at the way Mr. Saijo's acting, I blurt out. N no, it's not like that. Mr. Saijo instantly turns red. At that moment, everything turned white, and I close my eyes in surprise. Oh! I immediately open my eyes, and I don't see Mr. Saijo. I turn down and see instead a black cat with velvety fur. What? Hey, hey! That's enough, isn't it? Let's go already. What? Why did you become a cat? I hurry after Mr. Saijo, who started to walk, still in cat form. Hey, hey, wait for me! No one knows if we're going to be happy forever, but if we're happy right now, I think it's possible for it to continue being that way. I want to continue living in this town with this job next to Mr. Saijo. The black cat is now walking slowly, perhaps to wait for me. I start running after him to catch up. Well. So guys, what did you think of that? It went from a, like a horribly translated visual novel to something not half bad at all. So guys, my question to you. Did we beat the game, or do you wish to see the other four people? Not bad, but not that good. Yeah. It's not scary, though. This is the first visual novel that I wasn't jump-scared. The other three, yep. I got jump-scared. No, we beat the game. Well, how about this? I'm gonna check in with this game, like, four other times this month. But it won't be next time. Because I do want to see what the other characters are like. We did it! Woo! Thank you for playing! Cop Sky next? Yep, I'll do Cop Sky. So, see the album. Getting closer, new expression, 
Oh, there's one missing. <gasps> there's one missing, guys. Can I cool. try something really quick, guys? I want to load the game really quickly. Uh, let's try a wrong option. And I'm just gonna skip all this part, alright? Auto. Oh no, <laughs> auto just makes it go, f go uh, normal. Maybe this feeling is called love. Yeah, this is stuff we've seen already. Wait, can I do this? Can I hold it, maybe? There's also another visual novel I want to read, so, you know, get ready for that. Don't have any food today. Do, 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 do. I want to see what the, like, like the bad ending. I can't fast forward, though. That's kind of annoying. It looked like I was for a second. You came. Ah, voice. Sorry to surprise you, Mr. Zaijo. How are you doing? Come in. Is it better than this? Probably. Uh, it's a real, like, novel this time. There's no, like, there's no, uh, like, this. Like, the bad, like, bad translations? That's what I mean. Tame. Reassuring, reassuring, blah 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 blah. Ah, uh, what's a window? Oh. Auto, log, load, save option. Oh, skip. Here we go. I like this though. I like this game. The beginning it was funny, the ending was. kinda, kinda good. Kinda good. Could even say this was the best Valentine's Day ever. Oh, wait, what did that say? Go back. Log. Oh, I missed it. Oh, the curse is still on me if I'm unable to undo the curse. So this is new. I kind of want to see what, uh, like what happens at the end. I just want to see the image. Hey, Mr. Saijo, how you doing? I'll probably skip, like, the bad endings. Because they're bad endings. You know? Still better than Fortnite. <gasps> Aww. His scissors hands are so warm, I can't believe he's a Nekomata, not a human. There's not much left I can do for you. Aww. What do you mean? I'll grant you a wish. I wish. Choose. Where do you want to go home to? My place to go home. My life. Everything up until now runs through my head with great speed. Then as if guided by something, I open my mouth. Can I choose? I want to go back to the life I had before everything. And we do that. We got the wish. We won. We're back to normal. Mr. Saijo dies. Probably. <laughs> what? Hydragia. Caution. Alright, I guess that was the bad ending. Interesting. And yes, that was better than Fortnite still. Well, guys, that's one. One ending down, one person done. I don't know how I'll do this. How about this, guys? Well, tomorrow's not gonna count. Remember what tomorrow is. Remember what I play tomorrow. Sunday will be Tails, next day will be this, then Tails, then this, until, like, this is beaten. Is that, is that good, guys? Does that sound like a reasonable <laughs> compromise? Then I'll play a couple days of Tails, and then we'll check out the other thing. Sounds good to you. I'm not, uh, I'm not being reasonable here. That's just the way it's gonna be. This is my stream. I stream whatever the heck I want. If I feel like streaming Fortnite tomorrow, I will. If I feel like streaming myself, pounding a nail in my foot, I can do that too. Ha 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 ha. Here we go. Everything's here. Yay! 
Jude and All right, guys. Two more, or th four more left. Who will be next? Fortnite stream! Yeah, right. Never, never, ever, ever. Even if I, like, lost my memory or something. PUBG? I don't know. Maybe someday, as like a, a joke stream, I'll do it. Maybe. That's a big maybe, though. But yeah, thank you guys for coming around. Thanks for watching the silliness that was this game. Maybe tomorrow when we do a cop guy, maybe there'll be more silly, silly band translation things. You got banned from PUBG? Oh my gosh. Pixelmon Hunger Games, I wish. Alright guys, take care. Tomorrow, Splatoon 2. Get ready for it. Bye-bye!